All right, it is Friday for those of you who work a Monday to Friday 9 to 5. This is the high point. It's all downhill from here. For those of you who don't work a Monday to Friday type job, perhaps your weekend is Thursday, Friday, perhaps your weekend is Monday, Tuesday, or some weird mix of that, then Friday's probably nothing particularly special. But it is Friday, Friday. So uh, we are resuming the playthrough of Better Minecraft, the mod pack that promises to bring many things from 1.17 and 1.18 into the 1.16.5 environment. It also brings a lot of content that we know now is not featured in those versions to the table as well. It's a fairly dramatic rework of things while keeping the core spirit of Minecraft intact. So I'd say it's uh, pretty great overall so far. Low point being uh, last stream when a seagull stole my god apple. Still salty about that. Of all the food items it could have taken, and it took the rarest one from me. Prior to that, though, uh, last time on Better Minecraft, we explored the world, set fire to a number of ships, suffered a dramatic loss of a god apple, and traveled to the stronghold. What secrets does the end hold? Find out today on Better Minecraft. Alright, so I am resuming my exploration of this better stronghold. It's a lot bigger, a lot more fleshed out than the standard stronghold. It's uh, a mixed blessing for me because, well, I mean, there's a lot more to find here. But I'm so used to the standard stronghold format, it makes it uh, tricky for me. Biting a lot of memory, muscle memory, urges, that sort of thing. But I have found where the portal room is. It was a nonai, so that's uh, delightful. But I'm just, uh, ooh, 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 okay. Wait, unbreaking three prod four, never mind. It's not as good. So I was just uh, doing some exploring. I'm trying to find one more ender pearl so that I don't have to go to, uh, <laughs> I don't have to go to the nether to try to get all my eyes. In the meanwhile, I'm collecting goods. There's uh, a lot better loot in this than standard strongholds, I've found. A lot better loot. So I'm just going to continue ransacking this, and I should have done been doing this previously. But I'm going to start using torches to mark where I've been and uh, prevent some of these monster spawns. Anytime I hit a room and I hear everything, more petrified log, then I am going to mark it and head back. Ooh. So yeah, let's let's go here. I don't think I've been here. You grab those logs though. Pet they're petrified logs. You don't see those in 1.16, 1.17, or 1.18. They seem to be a mod specific thing. You mine them with a pickaxe instead of an axe, but they just turn into uh, no, oh, petrified planks, interesting. Well, they turn, when you craft them, it makes things out of oak. So they're functionally oak, just a different tool to harvest them. Let's see what we got here. Just chugging a little smithing table. Ooh, a perfect anvil. And let's, uh, let's ransack this place. Ooh. Inventory management has become a bit of a concern. But, I mean, that's, uh, that's Minecraft for you. Oh, wait, I can actually use this anvil. Alright, give me a moment. I'm gonna just free myself up a little inventory space here. Hat, pants, shoes. Beauty. Oh, that's expensive. That's so... Ex nine. That's better. That's better. Nine and... Ooh, ten. Nope. Oh, I can't, maybe I can't afford that. Crap. Oh, I, I definitely can't afford that. Oh, no. These, these boots have been through some shit. But I've uh, spiffied up my helmet and my pants at least. Uh, I know there were some iron ingots in here. At the very least, maybe I can... 16 for a single... Uh, I don't think these boots are long for this world, sadly. So I will uh, put those ones back, though. Obviously, I'm not going to be fixing that before I go in. 
but this does give me a little more room to grab some of the goods. Specifically, all these iron ingots I keep finding. One thing I will say is it seems like iron is very high on the loot table in this mod. I've encountered a lot of iron ingots in here. It seems to be pretty generous with diamonds. So uh, if it wasn't for all the enchantments on this gear, I'd be making diamond gear already. But I'll have diamond gear as a backup at least. What is... Uh... I don't understand why it's showing night vision on that. Unless the actual armor stand has night vision. That's uh, kind of weird. Let's continue exploring and ransacking this place. Over there. Interesting. And I will help myself to that gold block. I've got a uh, good amount of gold blocks. I have got a full stack of apples. Gonna be making myself a feast of golden apples if I get to that point. Uh, I'm saving them for now, though, just in case I need to go back to the nether and trade with piglins for that last ender pearl. So if I can get through that without having to do that, then I'm just gonna make a whole buffet of golden apples. Let us continue exploring this place. It is... Ooh. Take that out. And there's a spider here somewhere. I heard it hiss. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, you're a cave spider. Yeah, I don't want to mess around with you. Sorry, you were minding your own business, and I normally would be cool with that, but cave spiders can ruin your day. Ooh. Just a stripped oak log. Woo, take it off. Just bread and uh, other stuff. I'm Speaking of bread, I'll grab the bread that till I uh, have to crack back into my moose reserves. Yeah. So much inventory. A lot of stripped oak, so I definitely don't have to go to the surface for wood. That is good. I was worried I was going to have to do that. I'll put a marker here to indicate that I've been down that branch of things. A marker here. To the same. This isn't really much of a branch. A lot more wood available though. That doesn't amount to anything, so I'll mark that off. And uh, that that is this segment all together. I might come back for some of those goodies on the other side of fighting the dragon, but right now I just don't need them. I don't have the inventory space for them. Might have to go down the rabbit hole of learning how to make a backpack. Seems to require some things. Oh, well, let's, uh... Let's go down this way. Huh, I wonder who's behind that door. This guy's taking some hits. Yeah, get wrecked. You have a s whoa. Yeah, that skeleton had a sword. Uh, this th this does like to play it uh, fast and loose with the mobs. So you'll get armored skeletons. Skeletons with mushrooms on their heads for some reason. Uh, skeletons that melee you instead of shooting you, which is nice variety. Creepers are still just creepers, though. This is such a twisty, turny kind of place. A lot of new rock types and uh, ground types that were not introduced in the new 1.18. They don't exist in 1.17, 1.16. Again, there's more than just bringing those features in this mod pack from what I've seen. So it's not just a backport, so to speak. It brings a lot of other things to the table. Get that bread. Okay, I've definitely been down this hallway before, but now I can indicate for sure that I've been down this hallway before and gradually whittle the options away. Oh, yeah, right. I literally just put the torch there and then went down it anyway. 
Uh, yeah, I think I can block off this whole hallway. Now, I may find out later that there's stuff in the walls and places like that, and I'm missing out on all kinds of great loot. But, uh, that'll be something for an extended explore when I'm not on a mission. Oh, hello. Oh, he gave me what for? Nothing in here. I have lots of coal since I've been hoarding coal the entire run. I hear you in there, buddy. I wonder how I get to you. Hmm. That's kind of sus. Yeah. Well, let's see what that's all about, huh? Plus, I can use a little coal top up. Oh! I should have seen that coming. That's interesting, isn't it? Hey, that's that guy sorted. Nothing, doesn't look like anything special in here. Not sure what the point of this room was. I mean, just some powered rails and stuff. Maybe it's uh, world building, lore kind of stuff. Whoa! Oh, right, this guy. Hey, buddy. You got anything interesting for me here today? Well, that's a trade. Ooh. Ooh. Turtle egg. Uh, sponge. If I had some unbreaking books, I could do something with that. Bottle of enchanting is very tempting, though. Oh, buddy, you eat. Go away. Go away, jerk. Yeah. Yo, yes, you you are my best friend here right now. Get, get your butt back here. Get your butt back here. Because I need EXP. Mm. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Skel Thank you, Mr. Goblin. Well, I said thanks, Mr. Skeletal. Nobody was here to uh, witness that snafu. Yeah, that gets me a little closer towards actually being able to fix this. I might use that on the sword, because this is a pretty good little sword. Alright, so that is uh, this sector all sorted. Zombies everywhere. Like, they do not sound like happy fellas. All right, that's that, that is that. That means that's that hallway all explored. Uh, marked it off, so I've been down there. There's a lot in here. I'm de <laughs> definitely no rhyme or reason to how I'm going about exploring this place. I'm just, uh, I'm just going. I wonder if there's something behind that. Nope. Or if there is, it's uh, way deeper. So I've been down there. I will go back down here again just to mark this off my checklist. This uh, huh, this is going to be what gets me that last ender pearl that I'm, is surely hiding somewhere in here. I hope. I hear you guys running around upstairs. There are a lot of very ticked off zombies. It is quite the interesting explore here, though. Have I have I not been down here? Is this where I got the gold, or is this a similar room? I can't tell. Well, we'll see if I can... I think this might be a similar room, but not the same room. Well, let's, uh... Let's fix up old Stabby. 28! Ouch! Oh, that sucks. 16. I can't even fix it a little. Alright, gotta build up some more EXP before I can do anything about that. Gonna offload that. Make sure I haven't missed anything here. 
Ooh, I'll take those emeralds now. Maybe my goblin buddy will show up one more time. Uh, is that, uh, that's emerald. Yeah, maybe my goblin buddy will show up one more time before I go in. It does sound like I've got a real fight ahead of me in this place. I'll mark that off. Already marked that off. That's a zombie villager I'm hearing. That. that way I know there's no need to go down those hallways. Time to... Oh, hey, zombie. Hey, buddy. Get wrecked. Oh! You're a little more kitted than average. This isn't... This isn't Minecraft, but mobs are OP. Yeah, that's in good shape. Well, they are starting to find their way down to me. Whatever will I do? Soak up enough EXP to fix my sword, hopefully. I also like when they jump. What is that? What am I hearing? Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, hey, it's my goblin buddy. Uh, this is a little bit of a zombie apocalypse, isn't it? I had to splash an engineer. Where, where did he go? Where'd you go? There you are, fella. Ah, he's, ah there he is. Beauty. Beauty. I like that he I like that he came back and followed me. Is it probably not gonna be enough? Nope. I think I need at least sixteen to get what I want. I'm getting closer though, and it sounds like I've got enough company in this place. Shouldn't be a problem. I found a new bow as well. I wanna stick them to I wanna stick them together so I can get that uh, punch. Yeah, there's a lot of footsteps going on up top. That's what you get when you uh, dawdle as long as I am in a huge unlit place like this. Oh, hey, uh, I entered this stronghold on the last Minecraft But Better stream. I found the end portal. I don't have enough eyes because it was a nun eye. So I'm exploring it in the hopes of finding one more ender pearl. Because I got lots of blaze rods. So I'm just, uh, you know, looking around. I don't want to have to go to the nether. Ideally, but I've got some gold if I can get to the nether and find uh, Find what I'm looking for. Ooh, coal. I can actually use that now Bread Don't need horse armor. Don't know why it gave me that. Full-on apples uh... Uh, yeah. uh, Actually, I'll take the sticks free torches Speaking of free torches Game, game wants to make sure I'm not hurting for supplies, that's for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's do that. Give me some more torches. Wow, that's actually a lot more torches than I meant to make there. I should better math. Still hearing a lot of footsteps around this place. Well, now I'm all full up on coal again. This this has been very good for resources. Ooh. Alright. No, oh, I've secured that area. Now that I have torches for days. Oop. Dang. Like, I wouldn't even have to go to the surface for food. This is, uh... This has been a bountiful harvest in this place. 
few more zombies and I won't even need to worry about EXP. So I'm exploring around. Started to mark off places I've been so I don't go to the same place twice because this is, uh, this is quite the cavernous winding place and I'm definitely double dipping here. Ooh, free torches. I'll take you. More free bread. I'm gonna eat that last moose and then uh, bread will be my, my, uh, for the sake of inventory space. <laughs> it's a very generous stronghold I'm finding. Overall, this mod has been, with the exception of that seagull who took my god apple, this mod has been pretty generous. That uh, seagull who took my god apple didn't even drop it when I killed it, which is means it ate it immediately and didn't even get a buff. That, um, if I were to make a suggestion for removing something from this mod pack, uh, just take god apples out of the loot table for things that seagulls can steal on you. That's all. Quality of life. Hey, a slime! I don't see those. Hey, buddy! Boop, boop. It's raining men. Oh! How, is there, there's gotta be a spawner up there. Also, I don't know what the deal is with that spiky guy over there. I hope he's friendly. Because he doesn't look like something I want to fight. Whew, this is, uh, this is giving me a work, workout here. All right, what can I ditch? I know I picked up something that I don't need. Hm. I can't really tell right now. At least juggle that around a little. That way I can clear the smaller stack first. I'm just kind of willy-nilly exploring. I've definitely already been through here. I'm going to shut that. That should help me not double dip. This place is uh, kind of maze-like. So just being aware of where I've been is trickier than the average stronghold. And those are already tricky to navigate. Alright, I think I'm just block that off. I want those slime balls. I don't know if I'll do anything with them, but I want them. What am I getting rid of, though? Uh, oh, this is hard. I'm gonna have to take some damage so I can eat that moose. Now, are you friendly? You're a, to you're a tortoise. Ah, nice. As you're not of the snapping variety, I think we're all cool. Another diamond helmet. A lot of gear in this place. Like, it's... <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? I'll take the free EXP. Yeah, that's what I'll do, is I'll grind the gear... I'll grind the goodies off of some of these. Oh, hello, hello. Is it enough? Is it enough? 20? Oh my god. I'm so freaking close. One one level away. I gotta not use this sword so that it's not as expensive, I think. So I'm most of the way, I'm most of the way there on it, though. Bread. If there's any other uh, enchanted stuff in here grab that and suck the uh, enchantment juice out of it. But if there's not... Well, I've got I've got an anvil stashed in the uh, in the stronghold room, any, in the portal room anyway. Huh. What is on the other side of that? Oh! Well! Talk about being a sight for sore eyes, Mr. Enderman. 
I just gotta take care of your entourage. Holy crap, and they're, you're making me fight. All right, buddy. Yes! That's the last eye. That's all I need out of here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna still mark off a few things just because, uh... The loot be good. Ah! Oh, hey. Nice. Oh, that one didn't drop one. And there's my, there's my, uh, there's my room. So this is actually perfect. I'll pop here to the little base camp that I've set up. Finally get my favorite sword back into an operational condition. I thought I left myself a chest here as well. Did I not? Hmm. That's a, that's a thing I should have done. But... With this in mind, let's make let's fill this in. Then I'll go back to doing a little more exploration. Ah. That's the good stuff. Well, let's make a chest then. I don't know... I don't know why I didn't make a chest earlier when I could stash stuff here for later. Well, good news is I can make a feast of golden apples. Did I not? Did I really not put a chest anywhere in here? I might, I might be mentally mixing this up with another run. Hm. This is normally something I do. You know, find the stronghold, establish yourself a little safe spot. Set up a chest with supplies in case shit goes wrong the first time. Yo! No! Alright. Gonna... Gonna light things up a little bit so that that doesn't happen again, because that was nearly my stuff. I don't mind if it's zombies or or skeletons. Hey, buddy. Whoop. Yeah, I get spidered. But, uh, not a big fan of it when creepers pop up. Because they can destroy your stuff. This is not hardcore. This is, however, uh... An interesting mod pack. I think it. I think it's actually on easy difficulty. Let me check. Yeah, we're on easy difficulty right now. So, uh, it's definitely this mod pack definitely makes things a little more challenging, a little more rewarding to go along with that though. I'll toss half of those there. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit better. I'll toss my blaze rods there just in case. Now I don't have the EXP to combine those bows. I could just go in and see what that's all about. I kind of want to explore this place for a little more resources. See if I can get the EXP to fix those boots before I go in. I've got a pretty good diamond-centric backup plan, though. Oh, hey, another one of you. And you are just a jerk fight yeah fight 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 yeah <laughs> okay can't complain there if I had a horse I'd be all over that horse armor no I wouldn't at this point I'll be able to make a block of bread I don't need the potato. I'm pretty sure I've already been here, but now that I have inventory space, I can reevaluate what is actually worth taking and what is not worth taking. <laughs> Look at that, a framed picture of bread. I can relate, bud. 
I too have posted food on Facebook. Alright. There we go. Keep some stuff from spawning on me. Yeah. And I think I've already been through all of this. I'll just put that there. I think I've done the bulk of the exploring that I want to do. Once I come through on the other side of having fought the dragon, I might check this place out a bit more, though, before I move on from it, because, I mean, this is really cool. This is more challenging, but also more interesting than the standard stronghold. So I'm going to gear up and go through. I'm not fixing them boots. Sad to say, I might lose my boots in this upcoming battle. They are good boots, and they've served me through a lot. I also still don't know what aerial affinity is. Yeah, it's crawling with zombies in here. Well, let's, uh, let's get kitted. I've already got some plan B gear. I think I should take a pair of boots with me those are gonna those are gonna conk out on me first so that'll give me a nice backup plan actually I'm gonna take some uh, armor with me too drop half of you in there I don't need the zeal lighter I'm not lighting any zeal I don't know what that is and I've got my little, uh, get these guys off of me plan. I'll take this, I'll take this bow for now, and I'll keep that one on stand. Uh, that, that'll do more to the dragon, actually. I've got a good shot of arrows. I'm doing okay torch-wise. Leave that there. Alright, let's, uh, let's gap. Let's make some golden apples. Let's make a feast of golden apples. And there's a gold shield. Interesting. What's my regular shield? 75%. Are there multiple shields? There are. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make a diamond shield. It has to be a fresh shield, I'm thinking. That's neat. All right, then. I will make a fresh shield. <laughs> Could you imagine if that worked? Yeah, yeah, it had to be a fresh one. So, yeah, diamond shield versus shield shield. I'm definitely wearing the diamond shield here. What else, what else can I make that's out of the ordinary? I have a diamond fillet knife. A diamond smith hammer, and then just the, a diamond fishing rod. Interesting. What am I hearing? Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take a little nap. Alright, now I'm going to make my apples. And uh, just look at the... Yeah, boy. Huh. All right, I'll get that on standby for when my stuff breaks. I will make myself a fresh axe. I need sticks for that first, actually. So that way, when this axe gives up the ghost, I've got a new one on standby. The rest of my diamonds will hang out in here for, uh, you know, when I need them. If I need them. Like, if I, uh get given the boot and have to come back through. I uh, wish I could fix these boots a little, but I can't afford it. So yeah, I think I'm ready to uh, to see what this is going to be all about. I am uh, a little concerned because everything else has been noticeably different. But uh, let's, let's dive into the unfamiliar. Oh my goodness. Alright, letting her, letting her load so that... Okay, okay. 
It looks different, but not in an alien, unfamiliar way. I should turn the music on. I forgot I turned that off while I was uh, waiting to load to that mo the Thalassium Ore. This is one of those mod packs. The Ender Dragon. Hey, buddy. Oh, this actually is almost comfortingly familiar. Yeah, I, I know. Let's, uh, let's hire some help. This will help keep those, uh... Actually, I should pop these right away. Before the dragon deletes them. Flav Flavolite, the most delicious block in the game. That's a uh, that's a an enchanted Enderman. I'm not messing with that guy. Huh? Null stone. Null stone. It's the null stone. It's the weirdest stone in history. This is this is actually like very refreshingly familiar. Horse flower. Ooh, I'll have to check out what that's all about. Get him. I will drop one more of these fellas for now. I'll save the last few for oh shit later on. That looks really cool. That, I, I do like this a lot. Oh, okay, so there's the two caged ones. This is actually, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I think it's the same dragon AI. Yo. Let's, uh, let's, let's get the, uh, low-hanging fruit. I don't know where all my, uh, golems have gone. But I'm sure they're around. I should have brought a second water bucket so that I can make an infinite water source. Oh, hey. I don't believe we met. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Don't be a jerk. Ah. I didn't come in here with near enough blocks, I'm realizing. <laughs> I might have to mine my way back down from uh, this. Well, let's go for it. I'll grab the pearl. Yo. And I think pearl is going to be more useful than lava here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Whoop! I don't need torches. Unless I want to start making it so that Enderman just can't spawn. Torches aren't going to do me any good. This should be pretty doable. Ah, yes. Whew, got myself out of that just in time. The dragon is bad breath. I'll get the caged ones out of the way. You know what, I'm gonna pop a gap. Just cause I have a, uh, I've got a surplus right now. And I might as well take advantage of that. Yo. If the dragon could do me a solid and perch, that would be great. Just so I don't have to worry about it. Two down. I hope the end poem is the same. I love the, I love the end poem. You, you, you can bet if slash when I beat this, I'm going to be leaving the end poem up for the duration of it. Yeah, good. Perch. Buy me some time. That seems like a good one to go up. I'm going to get ready to dodge this guy when he uh, unperches and comes for me. Yep. 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 I might have had thorns on something. Up top. Too close, I guess. Hey, they're up. 
I didn't know they could spawn up there. Ha! Ha! Oh, they can die up there. Yo. I need to get better at archery. Crystal holder. That's cool. Like, it's not just bedrock. Hmm. Leave me alone, dragon. I'm trying to... I really need to practice my archery. I'll try one more time. Oh, got it! Nice! Now, I think if I get up there, I can get the rest. So, yeah, let's, let's take the... Uh, Safe way down. This fellow's mad at me. Where'd he go? Where'd you go? Ah, there you are. It's the on fire one. This is like a Dragon Ball Z fight. Hey! Hey! This guy's giving me This guy's giving me a little bit of a hard time. Yeah. Yeah, taste my uh taste my thorns. Dummy dumb pants. Hey, right, yeah, I think, uh, what is it? Is it three or just two left? I'm gonna go up this one. Yeah, I'll go up this one and see. Ascend. My first game console growing up, uh, does a Commodore 64 VIC 20 combo count? We had that as a kid hooked up to the TV. Uh, officially, I guess, was the NES. But I did play games on that Commodore 64, on that big Shite! Ah, Featherfall. I love Featherfall. <laughs> ah, yeah. Back up. Back up we go. Ah, yeah, pay attention more. I still got 35% on my boots. Those boots are saving my ass here. Sucker! Now I just get away. You're gonna, you're gonna try to uh, bump me off here. It's not gonna work. Time for you to disappear out of my uh, line of view. Yeah. Um. Classic NES was great. The Super Nintendo though had some exceptional games. Super Mario RPG. A few good Final Fantasies. Uh, Battle Toads and Battle Maniacs, um, Chrono Trigger, of course, and the SNES era Legend of Zelda was great. Chrono Trigger and Super Mario RPG are in close contention for my favorite SNES era games of all time. But um, Nintendo really brought a lot to the table. That said, I wasn't chained down to being a fanboy of any given company's product, and uh, I would enjoy playing on a friend's rig on the regular. Yeah, I'm getting some good hits in. I wish I'd brought some beds. I wish I hadn't left my TNT in the crate, given this is what I was saving the TNT for. Whew. Hindsight, uh, 50-50. I'm just eating gaps for the fun of it now. I might have to just wait for you to come down. I had a better line of sight when I was up top. But now I don't have the blocks to me. Whoa, you are really beeliner, huh? That's a perch. No, maybe not. Maybe not. And the dragon's just gone. Good thing I have hoarded arrows. Whoop! Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> nope. Well, we'll we'll get a perch out of you yet. that pearl. I spent so much time hunting for pearls earlier on and now they're just trivial. Oh, yeah. Thanks to the uh, Commodore 64 VIC-20 though, uh, I knew how to type a lot of computer stuff 
well before they started putting computer computers in the schools. So I was in uh, like first grade, and they put a computer in that was very similar to the Commodore 64 Vic 20 in the commands you could type out. So out of everybody, teacher included, I was the only one who knew that how to actually use the thing. It was great. Uh, I started playing Minecraft back when Minecraft was in alpha. And I used to run a server off of my laptop at the time. And between myself and a few other friends, we founded the Halifax Minecraft group. Give me a moment. I am turning uh, hostile creatures down to 50. Master down to 85. The dragon's kind of loud. But yeah, I've been in and out of Minecraft for a really long time. Played it obsessively for a while. Fell out of it sort of a few years ago. I think maybe four or five-ish years ago. I just, it fell off my radar for a bit. And then I got back into it once I, once YouTube suggested to me a Minecraft manhunt by a YouTuber by the name of Dream. And that was, of course, my introduction to 1.16. And I was like, holy cow. Oh. I'll resume talking once I'm out of this position. Oh. Jerk. Oh, he's still he's still down. I thought you were I thought you were getting out. Okay. Let's see if I can get a few hits on her. This is gonna be close. That was a good perch. Yeah, the dragon's real loud. Ah, uh, yes, I did. I uh, I caught the premiere. Actually, I went to watch that right after I was finished streaming. I don't like you. There you go. What another? don't got time for you enderman but yeah i uh the first one i saw youtube uh youtube suggested to me was the finale the final versus three hunters the one where he dropped a bunch of tnt through the end portal and that got me hooked i went and watched all of the other manhunt videos he's got up and you know been kind of hooked on that and that drew me back into minecraft big time all right i'm gonna kill this Let's go! Yeah! Yes, that clutch lavador! And, and it was another one of those things where it's like, I never would have thought of doing that. But it makes sense in retrospect. It's like doors block liquid. And I don't think nether doors burn. So it was the perfect combination. And... <laughs> I loved watching his hunt, like hearing his hunters just freak out, like they didn't know what was going on. Uh, another one was when he was uh, mining with the silk touch pickaxe, and they're like, it, "It's just stone. What happened? It's just stone." Ah, yeah, the Atlantic Canada one. It was such a good Minecraft server, the Elation Station. Uh, that. I was gonna resurrect Halifax Minecraft and run a server for it, but it's like, why would I do that when this niche is very properly filled by someone who's doing a better job than I ever did? Egg. Yeah, Chorus Roots. Poppy. Oh, right, yeah, from the, uh, from my, uh, golems well hey more of my gear survived than i thought yes that makes a lot of sense oh yeah <laughs> so i play on uh, the elation station one i'm also playing sometimes on uh, the socks for one server because that's got some neat features to it as well not as big a fan of the chat in that one that's uh, i would say more of a toxic server whereas the elation station is the most wholesome minecraft server i've ever played on i uh, definitely want to explore that first of all i'm going to hit that end poem yeah woo at 
activated mystical obsidian activation rune. I imagine if I were to do the respawn ritual, I would put my crystals on those four runes. I like this. All right. Let's see if the poem's different. But yeah, I've been, uh, since watching those manhunt videos, I've been sucked into Minecraft big time to the point where I now stream Minecraft as my main game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Smaller communities, older group. There's a lot of, like, 8-year-olds and 12-year-olds on the other server I play on. It just has cool features. It's got, a f it's got some stuff that we have on the Elation Station. It's got some stuff we don't have on the Elation Station. Uh, so, you know, it's uh, picked up on the ADHD hyperfocus for a bit. So we'll see how long that sticks before I find myself back on the other one or before or I find myself a new, probably Minecraft-centric fixation. Yeah, that was... Uh, that dragon fight... I find the dragon fight gets to be the easiest part. The nether is the hardest part of going through this whole thing. This game made uh, the actual end structure a bit harder, and it made some random structures that I found harder than anything else. But uh, the dragon has, and I think probably I picked up a lot by watching speedrunners, uh, manhunt videos, that sort of thing, a lot of Minecraft butt videos. And watching their dragon fights has made it so familiar that it just feels like it's, yeah, I know the formula of this. I break the crystals, I avoid the dragon, I make sure that I've got a water bucket if I don't got slow fall. It's a pattern boss. It's uh, a much easier fight than any other boss I find. But I think they, I think they intentionally made this one accessible. They put a lot of work into this beautiful end poem to get you there. I noticed though, instead of playing the usual end poem music, it's just playing the standard end music. I uh, like the end poem music better. And the background's different too. So I wouldn't consider that a but better feature. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna periodically, at least once a week, play this, explore more of what this brings to the table. Because, I mean, there is a lot in this mod pack that I haven't touched on. I mean, I definitely let myself get sidetracked because this isn't a speed run per se, but I still had the goal centered in my mind of getting to the end, taking out the dragon. But now I'm free to explore a little more, get sidetracked a little more, maybe build a village, trade with some villagers because there's a lot more villager jobs. So it's... uh. Really just a standard, standard uh, single-player world now. On uh, Mondays, I'm going to try to get Manhunt Mondays as a thing. Wednesdays, I'm going to make my dedicated 1.18 Hardcore World Exploration Day. I got to get that uh, hardware installed for the next stream for that, though, because she was a little choppy on the last one. 1.18 is definitely a bit harder on the overhead, just because, I mean, goes way deeper puts a lot more in the world. My CPU is having a little trouble keeping up with that and streaming at the same time. But, uh, yeah, and at some point I'll probably have my VR set up again, figure out how to stream VR. Uh, I haven't had a person to play manhunts with yet, but there is somebody on the Elation Station server who said they're free for a Monday manhunt. Otherwise, my plan is to leave it as sort of a floating hunter. If somebody I know is available to do the manhunt with, well, they're the guest hunter that week. It's kind of the idea. I know I haven't really seen any live manhunts. It's always been uh, YouTube videos. They're edited. Occasionally, the YouTuber will put up the raw footage afterwards, like uh, Dream always puts the unedited version up. I think a couple others do as well. But uh, you never really see it happening, and I imagine that's because there's a lot of rounds where the runner dies before they can really get that first escape, and nobody wants to watch a video where... Uh, nobody wants to watch a video where you just die in the first 10 minutes. It's a short video. 
but uh, maybe I can crack into something a little new here and interesting for people who want to see how the sausage is made. So in my mind, the idea is myself and the hunter, if they're down for it, will take turns. So I'll start off as the runner. If they kill me, then they get a turn as the runner. If I kill them, then it's back to me so far back and forth. At some point during the course of that session, one of us is likely to get a good break for it and make a really good entertaining hunt. I've uh, managed to get sub an hour for 1.16.5 speed runs, and I have managed to successfully beat the game on hardcore on 1.16.5, which I figure ticks the beat the game without dying box. So I've uh, loved the idea of manhunts since watching those first videos of it. Uh, Wisp and Jagster also make some good manhunt videos. There's uh, fellows like Boosfer, Yellow Wool, Kieran Dev. They also make some quality manhunt videos. In fact, uh, Boosfer is up to versus six hunters. And their whole friend group has great banter as well. I'd highly recommend them on YouTube. It's great to see so many good Minecraft YouTubers now. So I know I'm cracking trying to crack into a saturated moment market but i am hoping just like i want to watch more of it i am hoping that there's a lot of other people who also want to watch more than what's currently available i've also noticed that uh, i start streaming the same time filza starts streaming so i'm uh, competing with the biggest minecraft streamer ah <laughs> uh, nope it's this isn't the same without the right music. I'm gonna have to put that as a uh, check mark against this being a better Minecraft, just that you don't have that beautiful end music. Hey, Leo, welcome to the stream. I know you got yours coming up later today. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what your start time is, but I feel like we might have a little bit of overlap today. Oh, that is weird. Ah, thank you for the host. Yes! <laughs> ah, I love my alerts. I put a bit of work into those. At some point I'll work on fleshing out some of the other ones, although some of them haven't come up yet. But uh, that's alright. At some point people will start subscribing to me as well. Yeah, in an hour, that makes sense. That'll be when I take my first break on this stream. But at least I know I'll have someone to raid when my stream is over. What, uh, what game are you streaming today? I know you posted it in your announcements, but I have a memory that is a, f that is a fine mesh sieve. Sometimes it catches stuff, sometimes it lets stuff through. Actually, I can just look on Discord here. <clears throat> ah, Donkey Kong Country fan hack! Oh, that is actually going to be interesting. I am probably going to have you open in another tab while I'm doing the rest of my stream when you do that, because that sounds fun. I love the Donkey Kong Country games. I really played the crap out of the third one, 100% of that one, both endings. The banana bird thing was just weird. But uh, going around on the speedboat was a hoot. I love that they even lampshaded it, though, in that one. You, uh... You unlock a specific secret, and they outright tell you, yeah, you had to look this up. You didn't figure this out on your own. Like, they have an NPC waiting to talk to you just to tell you that. Donkey Kong Country games are also ga game franchise that blew our mind with the graphics back in the day. Full ending all three games at least a couple of times. Yeah, that is impressive. I only ever had the third one. So I only got to play a bit of the first couple when I was playing on a friend's Nintendo. Super Nintendo, rather. But uh, they're all good quality games. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country 3 was fantastic. I might be biased because that's my nostalgia. And the Super Nintendo Battletoads. Uh, I might stream that at some point, just so people can watch me never get past the hoverbike level. Two full sets of the game between the three of us. Nice. Super Nintendo era had a lot of amazing games, a lot of true top shelf games. I don't need credits, I was just there for the 
end poem. Didn't get the beautiful music of the end poem, so a little disappointed in that. I'm just going to toss these goods in here. I'll hang on to you because I might need that. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. 22 levels. Oh, I have a bow that I've been waiting for some levels. 27. 35. Ah, rude. All right. Well, <laughs> I had one and two, a butt had two and three, and a third butt had one and three. Eh. Yeah, now if, uh, if those butts had one and two, I'd be like, something's wrong with your anatomy, but I could see how it could happen. But uh, it's not supposed to be making number three at any stage in the butt. Grab me some blocks for bridging. Just because endstone is kind of a pain to mine. I want to just pop in through that portal. Oh, hello, hello. Ah, okay. That's uh, good to know. Don't need that. Ah, my feather fall boots. I think I've already ransacked this place. Yeah, yeah, but I am gonna grab that cobble. Ow, you! Yikes. Alright. Yeah, get axe crit. Because I'm probably gonna need a little bit of bridging block, and I don't want to spend all day mining that end stone. But yeah, that's my next goal right now, is I'm just gonna pop in through that and see if I can spot an end city and see how different the end cities are in this. Alright, grabbing my goods. I've also got some ender pearls, which will come in handy for exploring the end. I wonder if I can make anything with end stone. This has definitely added a bunch of recipes. E and D. And a site, no. Nope. Endstone, endstone furnace. Okay, that's good to know. And crystal, ender chest, close room ladder, iron smith hammer, and a site lamp, and a site lantern's cool. Infusion pedestal. Ooh, there's some interesting stuff here actually. A leather stripe. I don't know what that is for. Mushroom spores. Apparently there's chorus mushrooms. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I got 22 levels though, so at the very least I should be able to patch up my boots. My favorite boots. Yes! These boots saved my ass in that dragon fight. I don't want to abandon them just yet. What is this? Amber. I am definitely hearing some, uh, sounds. I want to grab some of this petrified wood, though. So that way I can build, I can bridge. I don't want to go in there without wood, because I'm sure you probably can't get wood in the end still. That said, if I find out they've added it, that'll be an interesting and welcome addition. Maybe there's end trees. Oh, that should do me. Plus the planks. I am still actually really disappointed that they cut out that beautiful song that plays when you beat the game. In favor of just the standard uh, end music. Because... I'll have to I'll have to do it on stream sometime when you folks are tuned in. I mean, I know anybody who's played... Minecraft. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that's good. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know anybody who's played Minecraft before long enough knows what the end song is like. It's just a beautiful poetic ending to the main game. Alright, let's go back in. And let's find my uh, little spot. I also kind of want to see what some of these new ores are all about. 
wonder if I can do anything with you. Better end forge. I probably have to have to do an end forge to cook these if I had to guess. Can't believe all my golems that I've unleashed on here are already dead. I should have made some uh, snow golems. Snow golems can really give Enderman a bad time. Ender ore. Okay. Well, now that I'm not as on a mission, I can afford to hop around and grab some weird stuff. Flavor light. I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it tastes like. But that's what we're here to find out. That gave me some new recipes, at least. I made 33 golden apples and didn't really need them. Chorus flower. They've definitely added a few new things. It's not like some mod packs where half of the end is just riddled with new ores. So it's uh, modestly balanced. Snow golems instead. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I could have snow golems. Instead, I have no golems. They all did. Null stone. I want to see what you're all about, too. That one didn't give me a, that didn't give me a new uh, recipe. I wonder if that means I can't use it for anything or if I could already use it for standard recipe stuff. Well, we will find out. I don't need the chorus grass. I do need my axe. Yeah. Oh, gathered a few new uh, and exciting things here. Let's just set myself up a little bit of a base camp near the center. Could have made that dragon fight a lot faster by bringing in a few beds. I could see how I would place things too to bed cycle. I'll have to practice that sometime. I think that'll definitely come in handy when I'm doing more manhunt content is just uh, having the rhythm down of getting the bed cycle going. Alright. I know it was over here somewhere. Probably behind. Yeah, there it is. Behind that boy. I'm gonna light this up a bit because I don't need. I don't need these Endermen here. I don't need to accidentally look somebody in the eyes and have a fight. I'm not gonna block off the whole thing, just the area I expect to be doing business in. Delacium ore. These mod makers sure do like to come up with new and exciting ores. Alright, yeah. If I fell off of here, that's it. That's the void. When you fall into the void, you die and your stuff is gone. You can't even recover it because it's in the void. And uh, once you've fallen off, there's not a lot of ways to uh, avoid the void. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Where did I put my... There's my crafting table. Let's go do some business. See if I can figure out what to do with these. The void does ruin pizzas. If you drop a pizza in the void, it's just gone. That would be a uh, T-H-A. Okay, that doesn't give me anything there, so it is flav. Okay, so it is a building block. I can make an endstone furnish with flavolite. Interesting. Otherwise, it looks to be a standard building block. But uh, looks like I can make an endstone furnace with endstone. I mean, that makes sense. What's null stone? I can make a regular... Oh, I think this is a stone analog then. No? Okay, interesting. wonder what I can do with null stone. Hmm. 
Well, nothing that has no stone in the name, at least. Oh my god, right? That was, that was an exceptional play all around. Like, he was rigging up what would have been a great trap if he hadn't already used that in a previous video with George, and George knew it was coming. So I imagine George warned them in whispers, hey, this is probably what he's doing down there. And they drank in viz pots, came up behind him, threw him in his own void trap, and he was still quick-witted enough to pearl out of that before he fell into the void. I also really liked the one where he built a flying machine during the fight with the dragon and the fight with the hunters, flew out to an end city, and got the elytra. Like, it was just, it's just fun watching the dragon fight with elytras. You're just flying around, popping the crystals from above. Everybody tries to fly at the dragon and take a shot at them, and it never works out because the dragon's hard to hit. All right. Ender Shard. I can't do anything with Ender Shard. I can do something with that. Ender. Ah. Huh. Nice! You can finally make Ender Blocks. Don't know what I can do with Ender Shards, though. It says Better End Forge. Okay. It's an ingot. Can I make tools? Can't make tools. Ooh, I can make armor. That could be juicy. I can make blocks. I can make armor. I can make an anvil. I think I'm going to explore that a little bit more. My pickaxe is in good shape. I know this just seems to make furnaces and not much else. Let's hop around a little bit and... Uh, See if I can find it here, or if I'm going to have to go to the end islands to find more of it. Imagine if I went digging in through like a worm, I could also find uh, more of that. It's probably going to be anywhere that end stone spawns, you're going to see stuff like this. That's my guess. But yeah, There's always some kind of insane clutch in the manhunts, which makes sense because... The ones that get that far, get that far because somebody's overcome all odds to get there and it usually takes some sort of uh, magical maneuver to get to that point. Flavor light null stone. I'll do the null stone. Oh, the null stone's pretty. I thought the, uh, the riding the boat off of the ghast move is also, I would say legendary that was <laughs> that was cool when he was screaming that's the coolest thing I've ever done I'm like yeah yeah and you've done some cool stuff but like some really cool stuff in his videos but holy cow it's stuff like that um like I end iron oh it's just oh it makes nuggets okay but uh, seeing the maneuvers he pulls off in those videos was what got me back into it. Like, it got me practicing, you know, L MLG water buckets. I didn't know that was a thing before because I had been out of Minecraft for long enough that the last time I played Minecraft, it wasn't really a popular one for people to watch that much. Like, it isn't, wasn't big like it is now. Yeah, so I've seen some of his practice videos too. Dude puts a ton of time into practice. Sometimes he'll stream himself practicing where he's just parkouring around the nether, practicing his clutches and stuff. He doesn't have his mic on. He just goes around getting better. Like he invests an absurd amount of time into the game, which, I mean, it makes sense. It's his bread and butter. It's the game he's known for, the game he's made probably a good amount of money on. He's getting sponsored on now. Which is also pretty cool. I always love seeing when a YouTuber or a streamer gets sponsored. Because it's like, yeah, you've you put the work in. You've earned that. You deserve that success. You make good entertainment. So I'd like to see more of the folks that I watch get sponsored. Why, well, I'd like to one day get sponsored. It'd be amazing if I could uh, make rent while playing video games. That's a childhood dream right there. I don't even necessarily need to make the big bucks like I've seen twitch's top earners 
And I don't need to do that. I just want to make enough that I don't have to work in an office. I feel like maybe maybe one day I could build myself up to that. If I had actually started this back when lockdown was new, I would probably have a much more established following and maybe have even been sponsored by then. I still gotta learn how to do some proper video editing and I gotta learn to remember to press the record button when I start streaming so that I've got footage that doesn't have my TV overlay on it to make Minecraft videos out of. Because I mean I love my overlays for Twitch but I feel like people might get sick of them fast on YouTube. Ooh, I'm getting some goodies here. I'll get enough of that end ender shard. I wonder if... I'm, I bet I can probably make pearls out of that. I'm thinking that's gotta be what that's for. Whoop, nope, don't wanna eat you just yet. Not blowing my golden apple. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would love for that to happen, though. If I, if I can hit the kind of income off of this that gives me the option to regularly do stuff for prizes i want to do stuff for prizes i want to do like what mr beast does on his gaming channel and just you know change somebody's day like change somebody's life by giving away enough that hey you built the best minecraft castle today here's fifteen thousand dollars like i want to get to the point where i can do that that uh it, it would just be so satisfying, you know, to have the kind of money that you can throw around like that and you're using it to make somebody else's life better. Because he, he's got a good cycle of, uh, good cycle of content. He makes great content, so he gets money from it. He uses the money to make great content by giving away all kinds of prizes and putting a ton into production so it, it's a nice self-feeding cycle i love i love seeing the stuff like that Ooh, that's still cooking is that paused oh no it's not it's not it's not okay Ooh, let's see what i can do with this that was a uh, pants with a cod piece Four. All right, so uh, not as good as iron. Interesting. That's a little disappointing. I am going to see what the Thalassium Anvil is all about, though. Just get a cook it up. And I might as well start building my way up onto there. I kind of like how spooky and atmospheric and almost wrong the music is in the end. Like, it's like you figure you're getting standard Minecraft music, and then it does, like, record scratches and corrupted sounds and that, and it really drives home the alien nature of this dimension. Get out of here, nobody likes you. Flavor light. End stone. I'll build with end stone. Ah, carp. Hey. Hey. Don't be a jerk, buddy. Hell, he's gotta come up the stairs to get me. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna teleport somewhere and die. Ooh. Gotta be careful not to look these be I know, right? That was a lot of fun to watch too. Like I know everybody was a lot of people were saying, Oh, it looks like somebody didn't get the point of Squid Game. The point of the Squid Game vid video wasn't to get to have anything to do with the point of Squid Game. It was, hey, these games look like they could be done fun and safely. Let's do a game show of it. And he definitely succeeded in that. The production value of that was exceptional. Obviously, he gets good sponsors. He makes good uh, money from video, from the, from you know, the, he makes that YouTuber money. Like, if you look at how many views any of his videos get, and you do a little Google on uh, how much money an average YouTuber gets per click, 
And then you're like, holy shit. Yeah, this guy's raking it in. He turns it all into uh, giveaways and philanthropy. He's um, he, he's he's a probably he's he's a rich guy who is actually trying to make the world a better place, which I gotta respect because most of them don't do that. Most of them hoard it like a dragon, but uh, watching him do the team trees thing, doing the team C's thing, doing uh, his philanthropy channel, making his own food banks just to try to feed as many people, giving houses to random homeless people, like, uh, do it, do it's trying to make the world a better place. I can, I can dig that. Meanwhile, uh, most of our more famous rich guys are trying to escape the planet and leave us behind to burn on it, and I cannot respect that at all. That is, uh, that disgusts me. It's like, you have the power to fix this shit, and you're choosing not to. Could you imagine if Mr. Beast had Elon Musk's money? Or oh, shit, if I had Elon Musk's money, I wouldn't have that for very long. I tell you, I would, I would fix homelessness. Like, immediately. I like to build myself a little pl You don't necessarily need to, but I like to build myself a little bit of a safety platform around this before I pop through. Because, uh, I'm always concerned it'll spit me out, uh off of this <laughs> and uh, then I just plummet and I've uh, made it clear how I feel I wish we had Beast Burger here I keep periodically checking the uh, checking Google Play Store to see if we've got it yet I it's one of those ones it's like I just want to eat one well I want to eat several really I want to try every one of them they had the dream burger with avocado and I'm like yes please a lot of cool stuff we can't get in Canada. Yeah, that's probably good enough. I'm going to make that anvil and see what that anvil is like first. If it's just a standard anvil, but blue, or if it has special powers. Then I'm going to hop through there and see what the end islands are all about. She's still cooking. Is this just uh, is this just a standard one? I think it's just a standard anvil. It's just making it out of the materials at hand. That's a wee bit disappointing. Yeah, I know. Whenever you see a Canada-wide music tour, they usually don't go west. They don't go east of uh, Toronto. And it's like uh, you know, there's there you know there's a whole chunk of Canada over here, right, guys? I do think the I do think the Thalassium Anvil looks pretty. I don't know if it was worth the effort to make. Oh well, learning a bit more about what this is all about, especially now that I've got the free time to do so. Let's go and see what we've got on the other side of this alien dimension. I do think that is pretty though. That's a lot prettier than the standard end sky void. It's a, a tick box in the better category. Oh shit! What? Oh. oh. That. That was not okay. Whew. Oh. Uh, they're very different. Ooh, hello. Uh, if that had just... I know that was that was just a loading lag thing. Minecraft does that sometimes. I've got the end for dummies. Okay. That scared the shit out of me, though. I fell for a lot longer than I wanted to fall there before it caught up. Christ. Once my heart climbs back out of my throat, uh... <laughs> that 
kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like a geode. Well, I'm gonna take a look at the end for dummies. I definitely, definitely want to see what that air sh airship's all about. I keep pressing C to zoom in, but this doesn't have that. Rituals, rituals, infusion ritual, infuse items, you craft, and eight pedestals of any other type. In the ritual, you can start infusion. J, okay, infusion, place main ingredient, fusion. Interesting, that sounds like a rabbit hole. And the eternal ritual. You can come across ancient ruins that are destroyed or not, frame of ruined flavolite, and six pedestals around it. It's like the worlds of the end in the overworld. You need to recover frame if it's broken and place six eternal crystals. That seems like a lot. I'll hang on to you for now. Might not go down that rabbit hole quite yet, though. Can't break. Mystical obsidian wall. Huh. All right. That's what I'm interested in. There might, might be another structure over there, too. One of these days, I'm going to be playing Minecraft, and I'm going to be holding Crouch somewhere, and the battery of my keyboard is going to die, and I'm going to just plummet. And I'm going to be ticked because I know it is preventable. Okay, I can do that with Flavolite. That's handy. Boop, boop, boop. Build myself a little more of a safety platform. That is really interesting, though. I hope I don't have to fight more uh, pillagers on that. Uh, illagers on that, though, because uh, not really a fan of finding everything they've got. This is definitely a lot less desolate than the standard end. So I like it. I like it a lot here. I'm going to have to judge the distance of this. Oh, that that might be bad. Please tell me they are not hostile. Because I don't want to fight f more phantom variants. Is it just me or do my jumps feel lighter? Gonna build myself a little bit of a staircase. I'm real paranoid about you. Cause one of one of those could ruin my day if they're a hostile mob. Right. That's about as far as I can get from this height level. All right, right. It's petrified. I'll get most of that when I get down there, probably. Does look like there might be trees here, though. No, get in my inventory. Uh, I think I could probably reach it from here, from there. Yeah. Not quite, huh? There we go. I want to build these stairs now so that I get the spacing right and I don't have to worry about it later when I want to get out of here. What am I hearing? Th this has so many new sounds and I don't know what to... Oh, come on. I don't want to do with any of them. Other than, other than fret. <laughs> Gets me a little closer to the ground. I can make the jump down, but this is going to be more convenient for my return trips. Is that water? Huh. We got water in the end. 
This is a much livelier end. I really do like that. It still keeps the nature of being an alien dimension, but it fleshes out that alien dimension a lot. I want to hop down to get a... Uh, uh, that cost me what I saved. This is a bit more of a time-consuming task than it probably needs to be. But if I do it right now, I will be thankful later. Unless I get an elytra, in which case I'm just flying around. And the stairs don't matter anymore. I hope there's an elytra on that airship. I think this will probably be the right height. get you though. That is actually too high. Holy crap. And I'm running low on blocks. Hmm. Uh, yep. All right, we are back on track right up until I run out of blocks again. All right, I'm gonna dig all this up. I'm gonna collect my stuff that's laying on the ground down below there. And pop my way back up here and resume. I can, yeah, that should work. Give me the, give me the goods. Ivus Phylium. Okay, so it's, uh, oh, it's end stone. It's end stone unless I have bulbous wood. It makes sounds like the, uh, the nether wood. I imagine I can probably craft with this the same as I can any other wood. It might have similar restrictions to the wood you get in the nether. We will find out. Ooh, that gives me the good good. Ha, I can make a bulbous crafting table. Nice. decided on that yet. I mean, for those who know me as Sithan 98 that one's good. For those who know me as Lord Nuke, or even who know me as Blake, I'm not exactly going to hide that on here. That's all good. I should have probably thought about a short name for the This Is Me Gaming brand. But, uh, I'm new to the whole branding thing. So, this is stuff I figured out. I did figure it would be better to tie this in with uh, my cosplay, the this is me dressed up and sort of keep a consistency there rather than uh, base it on one of my old gamer tags. But I haven't really thought that out yet. Tim G is gonna make people think my name is Tim. And I'm not sure if I find that humorous enough to go with it or not. Oh, I'm Tim G, and I'm here to play another video game. So let's go today. Oh, that was 
bad. One day, I will have completed this staircase. That's about to run into tree. Alright, I can use a regular axe to cut this wood. Unlike this petrified wood. This is definitely the uh, prettiest end that I've seen in Minecraft. I haven't seen any other mod packs that uh, make it this pretty, although I know there are a shit ton of mod packs out there. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's some others that bring a lot to the table here. A lot of talented mod makers in the modding in the Minecraft modding community too. It's one of the other things I love about games like this is it's a make your own fun game and sometimes people take that to a whole new level and basically remake the game. A lot of creative folks. All right, this is the stuff I can do with my pick. Thanks. Yes. Can't believe I just did that. Oh my god. Ha ha! Perfect. Now I have a reasonably safe way to get up top. Except I misjudged that. So let's fix that up real quick. Beauty. Perfect. I'm just gonna quick grab my cords so I know where I'm coming back to later. That's cool. A lot of obsidian. There's sulfuric rock. More of that ivis phylum. If I had a silk touch, I could get that and see what that is all about. More sulfuric rock. Hydrothermal vent. Huh. They have really made this a lot more fleshed out. What do we have over here? Bulbous Anomaly. Bulbous Anomaly. Can I eat it? Oh, I can plant it. What does that do? Hmm. Interesting. Oh! 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 I have, I have levitation! Okay. Oh yeah! Touching the, touching the anomaly does that. I could see that being of value in a few spots. I might take some of that with me. Ah, look at him go! <laughs> okay, yeah, I love this. <laughs> You're coming with me. I'm gonna grab a bunch of these. <laughs> That's cool. And there's a purple one. Purple bulbous anom anomaly. Is it different? Nope, it's the same, just purple. That is pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to grab a bunch of this. I can find uses for that later. Or even immediately. I'll just keep the blue bulbous anomaly. Purple, you can hang out. Go spread if that's what you do. It's just brimstone. Two different colors of brimstone, but it's still just registering as brimstone. Let's see, is there a... Huh. That one. It made the same end result, but broke like gra glass. Huh. Interesting. Don't know what to do with that. I wonder if Silk Touch would give me different results on that one. Ooh, fish. Are you a friendly fish? End fish. 
you're an end fish. You're an end fish. You're cool looking. Kaboza! Oh, oh, that that that's gonna kill me. <laughs> that's a poisonous boy. I'm learning. This is cool. Although they've definitely added a lot here. Oh, there's an enchanted Kaboza. You're already you're already <laughs> deadly enough, I think. You didn't need to be enchanted. Whoop! <laughs> Ooh, my stomach dropped for a moment when I realized I was falling. It's like shit, did I drop through a hole? Always a little on edge in this place. Bulbous wood. It gives me lots to build with. I wanna go there. I think tower, I think bridging from there to there is going to be my best bet. Yeah. I also want to see what those clear crystals are. At least see what they're called. So I might, uh, purple bulbous shell. So that doesn't do anything with that tool. That doesn't do anything. That's... Ah, drops. Oh, okay. It drops bulbous oddity, which is. I wonder if it grows into an anomaly. Doesn't seem to start off. Meanwhile, that guy over there is just uh, popping along. Interesting. Chicken nuggets? You have actual chicken in the fridge. Chicken nuggets are, ch are actual chicken, Leo. They're, they're, not, they're not ham. Although you have gone and made me hungry for chicken. Yeah. Now that, sh that should get me places. I can always come back for more if it doesn't get me places. Times like this, I really do wish that I uh, had Optifine set up for this because that zoom button is very convenient. I'm eventually going to widen this and put stairs on this. Oh yeah, I wanted to see what that was. I keep worrying about fall damage when really all I should be worrying about is falling into the void. My uh, my wonderful boots protect me from the fall damage. Purple shroom light. Okay. So that's like the ones in the nether, but purple. That's all this is protecting? Huh. It's patterned like it could have an ore in it. Purple shroom light. Yeah, it's just a light casting block. Well, I like having more of those. Light levels can be... They can be a challenge in Minecraft sometimes. I thought I saw... You know what I haven't seen, though? Chorus fruit. At all. I might have to get to one of those uh, lush, foresty-looking places to find some. I also think that is really cool. Wait, I'm going to go check out that hot air balloon first. Because that has been tantalizing me this entire time. I was going to make my life a little easier here. Right, you can't make stairs out of the raw. But I bet you can make... Yeah. Knew it. You can make stairs out of that. Yeah, I'm going to put the stairs on this now. So much better for running up and down it. And I feel like I'll be making a couple of trips.
I actually need more. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close, though. I'm just gonna make uh, another set of stairs here. Yeah, that's, that's gonna cover me. I'll just leave those guys there so I can accidentally walk off the edge at some point. Yeah, great idea, Blake. There we go. Now I won't accidentally do that. I just didn't want to carry those around. I'm going to need way, way more of these guys to get there. Especially if stuff starts shooting at me once I get over there and I need to build myself some buffer space. Whew. Okay. This one thing hits me and I'm screwed. There's no way I have the twitch reflexes necessary to... Uh, and for what it's worth, I'll put it on my hop bar. Might be able to pearl out of it if something knocks me off. But I am most likely just going into the void if I get bumped off here. The more I do this, the more I stare into the void. I should be putting torches on this so that Endermen don't spawn on this and give me trouble. Yeah, that's a little better. A little safer. There's, oh, yeah, that is an end ship because that's an end city. So they are different a little bit. Why is it not cooperating with me here? I just want to, I want to autopilot this. Come on. I had it going so good before. Whew. It shouldn't be letting me place those ones down like that. I don't know what they're sticking to. If something set this on fire, I'd also be screwed. Thankfully, there don't seem to be any fire mobs in this place. I didn't take my coal through. So there's those spires. Then there's that one, which looks like it might have something on it. There's a beautiful end city. They've definitely done some embellishment on that. Eh, I'm also glad there was an end city within spawn. Sometimes you're looking for hours to find one of those, and it's something that has drastically needed to be improved in vanilla Minecraft for quite a while. Just in case. I am thankful that crouching keeps you from falling off the edge. We're getting pretty close. Whew, this is tense. Anytime I'm uh, crouching over something precarious this way, like I'm pressing down so hard my fingers cramping. Well, one day the control button is just not going to work anymore on my keyboard because I've crushed it. Ooh! Is that... That looks like a fortress. But in the end... I'm going to check that out, too. I've got a little uh, central point here I can do some spin-off from. I wish I had more torches now because Endermen are going to start spawning. But I wonder. Ok, 
can I cook? I turned I turned it all into. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get more bulbous wood. Hey. Right. Toggle crouch. Yeah, I probably should. I'm so used to uh, hold crouch, though. I'd have to relearn some muscle memory for toggle crouch. Probably worth it. Let's see if I can make coal out of this. Charcoal out of this. Ha 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 ha! Just ascending. I'm not gonna not laugh at that when I see these Endermen just floating. I should bring some of these back to the overworld and plant them. See what happens when a pig goes for a fly. These ones that I've planted are still just oddities and not, uh, not something more yet. I wonder if I have to bone meal them. Okay, that should be enough wood to try to make something. I got nine bulb. Oh yeah, that's right. I brought those with me. I better check real fast that I can place them on other blocks. Th oh. <laughs> I should be a little more careful with that. <clears throat> I do like the visual improvements a lot in this mod pack. It is a very visually appealing mod pack. All right, can I cook it? Now I want to see if that that can't be used as a fuel. That can't be used as a fuel. I'm. Can't burn petrified wood, which makes sense. Uh, no. For science, I had to see if any of that would burn. Let's cook this. Bye. I should save some of this for building. Especially where I'm starting to get low on those slabs. Yeah, I was going to see. I can't plant it on this. So it's probably going to need soil, maybe end stone. I wonder if I'm planted on regular stone. Can't plant it on regular stone. I don't have any uh, I don't have any dirt, so I can't test that. Can't plant it on flavolite. It might need to be planted on that purple stuff, which means I'm definitely going to have to get my hands on silk touch. That should be enough to cook all that. I'll start making uh, Start making torches off of that. I do like the bang for your buck you get off of making torches. What's that? Some kind of floaty crystal. There's a lot of what's that right now. All right. Uh, good luck on your stream. You'll definitely be seeing me later. As soon as I'm off of my stream at 6 o'clock, I'm going to be raiding your stream and watching yours. I'm going to have yours open in another tab as well so that I can see this modded Donkey Kong. Uh, no, no, no. 
cooperate with me. I don't like Edge, but it is a low impact browser to have on while streaming. Twitch.tv slash level up Leo. Perfect. Leo always has a good stream. I highly recommend him as a streamer. Beauty. Gonna need to make some sticks. <laughs> that should cover me for a bit. Yeah, no more concerns about Enderman spawning. I've built some Enderman spawners. In fact, I built what I would consider to be the best Enderman grinder on the Elation Station server. So I feel like I know a bit about the Enderman spawn mechanics. So having a nice open platform like this not be lit, that is an invitation for Enderman. get me places. I just wanted to build myself a nice, comfy, uh, reasonably sized platform. Now I can branch off that way, and I can branch off that way. That one's going to be an interesting one getting down to. It looks like there's, uh, Possibly some kind of ore in the wall there. I think I might head that way first. I also might just waterfall the way down, too. I feel like that's going to be the best just to do a water elevator. <laughs> I have to make sure it's over dry land, though, and I'm not uh, putting myself at risk of swimming into the void. Oh, there's the entrance. That is cool. Because I can always go back to one of those pools and grab another bucket of water. So it isn't like in the regular end where if you lose your water, that's that. What am I hearing? What am I hearing? to make this thicker. It's not fair to throw uh, dramatic sound effects at me like that game. This seems to be a good spot for it. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I have an idea. That's a white boy! Now, do I see any water down and around there without looking at the Enderman? I'm gonna go back for water just to play it safe. I'm not uh, tackling stuff where I could fall or be on fire without having my water bucket. Plus this gives me the opportunity to widen this up. I'm gonna take a break in a few minutes here. Take my uh, midstream break. I'll be back on this platform with water buckets, though, before I, with a water bucket before I take that break. So, because I can just zip over here and grab that real quick. 
Plus that'll give me a... What was I doing? Oh yeah. Nudge when I come back. I need to start remembering to do that. I do download them off of Twitch. And I have been mirroring them over onto my YouTube channel as raw, as raw videos on demand. But I need to start remembering to press the record button. Because I've got it set up that it'll record the game capture and not my overlays. And uh, that is going to be real important if I want to harvest this for YouTube content. So I think I probably need to get my computer upgraded before I can reasonably do that though as you've seen especially on the 1.18 stream sometimes it chugs a little minecraft itself is a cpu intensive game but streaming is a bit cpu intensive and recording a bit more so so i want to have all my ducks in a row there i really really wanted to press record during that minecraft uh, bounty hunt that i did and i forgot to so I have to edit that video with my overlay on, which is a wee bit annoying. There we go. So there's that, and I want to make it so that when I swim up, I'm not at risk of missing. I wonder what kind of creatures will be in that uh, fortress. There we go. This this should be nice and safe. Yeah, why don't I do this? Is that Is that just visual glitching or it might just be a visual thing? I wasn't sure if I was like blocking it off and changing the flow of the water by doing this. This amount of platform is unnecessary. But it makes me feel a little more comfortable with this situation. <laughs> As I gaze over the abyss. Right, petrified wood. gonna be more for getting back up as I can take a little bit of fall damage here yeah this is violate brick all right this is gonna be a good spot for me to take a break I'll come back I'll be back by 4 15 so let me screens over here I'll throw up the hydrate break one if you have the chance get up stretch get liquids in I'm gonna throw up the jazz remix of Pig Step. Insane in the Rain music did this one. And Lena Rain is actually featured in it. The music video for it online is fantastic. So throwing this up now. Again, I will be back by 4.15.
God damn, that's so good. I love... Peg Step is my favorite Minecraft song, and that is just a fantastic, fantastic remix of it. I love that so much. And I am back, of course, as I'm hoping the uh, me responding to the song makes clear. Doing a little bit of exploring here. I'm going to turn that music down to 25, turn the master volume to 80, because sometimes the game's been drowning me out. And it's a little different per mod pack. Well, that would be a good way to get washed off the edge right there. Not going to have that. So I am going to block that off a little bit. Ooh, good chunk of bulbous wood there. So I hope everybody had a good break. You stretched. You got something to drink if you didn't have something already. You got rid of any uh, liquids you might have already had. So uh, we are going to resume exploration of the end in a post-dragon better Minecraft world. More bulbous wood. I'm just doing this for my safety. <laughs> for a, a little bit later when I ride down this and absentmindedly get washed off the edge into the, into the abyss. Because uh, I can see that happening. Alright. So this is, this is a fortress. An even worse fortress. Find the catacombs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. So if the uh, regular fortress is a terrible fortress, this being an even worse fortress. Mossy, what are you? Are you a creature? A spectra fly. Hello. We don't seem to be uh, evil. A purple chest. Apps. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Gotta mark that hallway. So this isn't an ore at all, but it is just something mossy. Oh my goodness, that's big. That is big. Ooh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Oh my goodness. Oh, excuse me while I fan myself for a moment here. Because I just got two shulker boxes. And they're full of some gorgeous loot. This is overpowered. This is actually OP right here. Holy crap. Look at that. I got Prot 3, Unbreaking 3. I don't have enough of that. Uh, I might. No, I don't think that's enough to make another anvil. Well, I think I can mine some over on this side. That's unbreaking three. Mending, respiration, unbreaking. Holy cow. Sharpness, knockback. Looks like I will be rep replacing my well-worn iron sword and probably some of my other gear. Dang. Oh, I can make a regular anvil. I don't need to make the other. <laughs> Dang. This is, this is the good shit. I'm ditching these leggings, though. I don't need the... Thassium fucking leggings. Good god, though, the loot table in this. I don't need those iron nuggets either. Getting back to uh, inventory simulator. So is this. Uh... Oh, there's a third one! Black stained glass. Rose crystal lamp. Alright. Totem of Void. What? <laughs> oh, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. It just tells me how to craft that. Sorry. More music. More music. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Oh, I don't have the EXP to make the armor I want to make out of all this, but uh, I'm taking you. Can I slot charm? Now I'm hoping that it being in the charm slot still has it kick in, even though it does say main slash offhand. Uh, kind of want to test that out, but I'm gonna hang on to that for now. 
God. Oh, that's just more of the same. So I got three shulker boxes, which is going to make my inventory woes a thing of the past. All right. Well, let's... Uh, I don't need beetroot seeds. It's the weirdest thing in the loot table. Good God, this is amazing. I uh, won't need that knockback two iron sword because I'm definitely going diamond sword. Oh, baby. Wait, that's a fourth one. Uh, not sure if I can make that jump. Okay. Oop. <laughs> oh. Oh. Prod three. I'm breaking three. I'm definitely getting better gear than that out of this, though. Ba, 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 Gotta sort this stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. Flavor light. I'll keep my wood. I'll keep my foods. <laughs> I'm going to toss the hay bale in there for now. Records can go in. Materials can go in. Oh, you can't shulker box a shulker box still. Had to check. Prot 3, prot 4. So this one's actually useless to me. Mending. All right, I'm just going to mine this. Actually, I'll toss the stuff that's not that useful into the corner. Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3. Ooh, that is good. That's not that useful. That's not that useful. That's useful. Parasite. I'm definitely going to be collecting up uh, collecting up these new music discs. Sounds like I'm going to have to make a... Uh, gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna have to make me an anvil. I'm gonna have to make me a jukebox. There's unbreaking three pants. A ridiculous sword. A ridiculous shovel. Bane. More music. Mending, respiration, and breaking. Oh yeah, that, that renders this one irrelevant. Alright. Oh, I like that. It, I just realized it shows you what's in them. That's handy. That is handy. I'll toss the bending in there under my stuff that I don't really need pile. I'm breaking three pants. The rest of these guys are empty. I'll toss my gold up there. These, uh, these chests are ridiculous. I don't need the shovel right now. I'll just leave you there so I can ransack the rest of this. Efficiency. That is, that is going to be good. Unbreaking three, curse of vanishing. Unbreaking three, prot four, curse of binding. I'll take the prot. Prot three, aqua affinity. Unbreaking three. So I've already got... Unbreaking 3, Prot, Aqua, Affinity. Those two I will combine. Unbreaking 3, Mending. Unbreaking 3, Mending. Those are identical. So in terms of stuff that I'm keeping because it's good, we've got that. We've got Unbreaking 3, Unbreaking 3, Prot 4. I don't mind if I can't take off Unbreaking 3, pot, Prot 4 pants because they're Unbreaking 3, Prot 4. So I'll wear those till they break. Unbreaking three mending, unbreaking three mending, and just unbreaking three. Mending, respiration, unbreaking, prot, aqua affinity, unbreak, wait, unbreaking's already accounted for. So that's a spare. And I'll take the saddle. This is, this is treasure. Unbreaking three, unbreaking three. Like, this is some um, seriously good treasure I'm finding here. Oh! Oh, hi there. Toss the saddle, because I don't think I'm riding anything in here. 
Shulker box, shulker box. Like, dang. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, that, that was the Tetris for a moment there. I just realizing, I just put two and two together in what you were asking. I don't actually need anything over there. That guy, these guys are just chill. I don't have to fight them. It's nice. Never found... Oh, I'm not even... Never mind. Prot 4. So, Prot 3, but it's diamond. So, that's obviously going to be better. <laughs> and let's... Let's whip up an anvil real quick. See if I've got the levels to make this. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> no. Nope. Curse of Vanishing. Prot 3 Aqua Affinity or Mending Restoration and Breaking. I'll take Prot 3 for now. Eat. And I'll put this guy in here till I have the EXP to do something with you. So next up, Thorns and Breaking 3, Prot 4. Prot 4, Thorns 2 and Mending. Oh, Curse of Vanishing. So when you die, you're, the item, rather than dropping, just st stops existing. So that is actually a standard Minecraft curse. It can't be removed with a grindstone or anything like that. No matter what you do, it stays on the item. Next up, we got Prot 3 Pants versus Prot 4, Curse of Binding. Now, of course, Curse of Binding means I can't take these off. But with Prot 4 Diamond, I don't care too much about that right now. Unbreaking 3 Mending. I'm going to hang on to the Feather Falling until I loot something that has Feather Falling. Unbreaking 3 Mending. Actually, I don't need two of those. Eat. Sharpness 4 Knockback 2 versus Sharpness 3. The Fire Aspect is worth it to keep the sword. I don't need... Bane, and I don't need knockback to though, so I'll get rid of those swords. I'll stash that sword. Eat, eat. Sharp four. I'll hang on to you for now until I can afford. Can I afford? No, there's no way I can afford to combine them. Uh, plus, I lose a lot, actually. I'd have to do it this way to get all those features on there. All right, so I'll hang on to the Inficient's 85 Unbreaking 3 as my main pickaxe for now. Four music discs. Uh, actually, two of them are the same. Three of them are the same. Ender Mosh. <laughs> That's going to be a fun one, I think. All right, so yeah, this has been an incredibly, incredibly profitable delve. See, I got boots, unbreaking mending, pants, helmets that I need to stick together, prop four. Alright, that is the good shit right there. I used to have something else in that slot. I think probably a building block. The fun part is remembering what I was doing. Take you with me. So the, uh, the treasure in here is easily competitive with other end level stuff, end city kind of stuff. What's going to happen when I open that chest? Sharpness 5. Oh, I think I put my other sword in the, uh, in the box. I sure did. Sharpness 4. Well, 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 you're coming home. Sharpness 5, Mending. You're coming home with me. Vein Mining. Mending Efficiency 5. Ooh, yeah. Respiration, Prot 3. Unbreaking 3, Fire Prot. That's not even worth it, really. All right, Respiration. This has Respiration 3 versus the Respiration 2. Uh, this is Unbreaking 3, Mending. This has Prot. So those shoes together make me something nice. I'll offload you now that I have a spot to dump some of this. Mending efficiency. Uh, wonder if I can afford to put those together. 11, 11. 
That makes sense. So I'll hang on to Mending Efficiency 5 for now as my main. Boop. Wait, wait, no, not nah, that's the wrong one. Jeez, I got I got some good shit here. Mending, unbreaking. Does that have unbreaking as well? Alright, so I don't need the extra unbreaking one. And let's see, efficiency, efficiency three, vein mining, fortune. If I combine them, I get the mending. So I'll hang on to that for now. This is some pretty ridiculous treasure. Don't need that. I got Prot 3, Aqua Affinity, Mending, Respiration, so that's all accounted for in there. That's an empty shulker box. This is good loot. But I think that might be the extent of this place. Didn't seem very big. Huh. I went down that hallway. Yeah. Is that really all she is that really all she is? I mean I can't complain, look at me. I don't know what arcs are. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a little. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, it's just mossy. Like mossy cobble. This might not be a very big thing. It might not need to be with what it gives you. I can't complain though. Holy crap. I am in really good shape here now. I'm going to explore around here a little bit before I go to that airship. Is that it? I mean, I could see the rooms is that is that somewhere I've been because that seems like a different room yeah that's that room alright All right. fair enough <laughs> it is oblivion between them oh <laughs> Uh, I thought it might be. Alright. Well, that loot has just been ridiculous. I'm glad I went there first. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. I mean, aside from looking directly at these guys, I mean, uh, just look at these guys. <laughs> they just keep doing it. This would be funny as a uh, sped up GIF. And <laughs> just watching them float repeatedly. <laughs> I could actually. This is kind of soothing. Definitely not for her for a bit. Alright, let's... Without doing the same thing that those guys are just stuck doing. Let's explore around here a little bit. There's the, uh... Rusticus. That's just end stone with something on it. Then there's this. Hello? Does it drop anything? Lucerna Bark. Lucerna Bark. 
Lucerna planks. Lucerna crafting table. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Someone, whoever, one day, whoever put this mod pack together is going to look back on my pronunciations of half their things. And they're just going to cringe so hard. Alright. And I think that's the bulk of what is there for this island. I was kind of hoping you could eat those things on the end of that. I think that's just more of the same over there. I'm glad I found this ridiculous dungeon here, though. That'll be... Eh, another one of them fly guys, just a different color. That'll be when I uh, find myself falling off the edge with all this gear. We'll find out real quick if that, uh, that end talisman works. If it's in your talisman slaughter, you got to be holding that. Ah, mushrooms. I'm actually going to grab some of this. I need blocks. Yeah. I like that with this, you can get wood in the end. It uh, helps a lot. I imagine this probably drops saplings too if I wanted to grow it. They've made it a lot easier to actually survive in the end instead of having to ferry all kinds of stuff from the overworld just to make it viable. Even though I haven't seen chorus fruit, I hope they haven't removed it. Maybe it's more biome specific in this one. This is gonna come in handy. Look, it's dropping stuff over the edge. I was like, whoops. Oh yeah, that'll that'll get me through some shit. They're still going. <laughs> They're still going. And then there's that inch. Oh, they might be mad at me. Why? 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 Where's my... Oh, shit. I'm in trouble here. Get off of me. Get off of me. Oh, I'm gonna stand in this. Where my sword at? Guess I made a couple of friends. A couple of guys were up to no good. Started making trouble in this. Get back here. Get back here. I will shank you. Oh, I got a couple of them. This is, this is escalating. I need to stab you in the feet. Is that all of them? Is the nightmare over? <laughs> I don't even remember looking them in the face, but I must have. Unless this guy is just aggros them by you being near him. Enderman. It doesn't say what he's... Oh, yeah. Protection. Prot one Enderman. That's... Who are you? Hello. Oh, you're mean. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put you back in your tomb then. That was easy. Wonder if he came out of that, or like he's he's a mob that's supposed to spawn in that, and I just cleared it too quickly. I wonder if these are meant to be bigger. Well. Yeah, he does look like a Game Boy. Although, I had a Game Boy, and it never tried to beat the shit out of me. Whoo! Back on the platform. Uh, let's resume. I got three shieldy guys over there. I wonder... I wonder why. Huh. Okay, interesting. I'm guessing that's resistance that's included. It displays things differently than some other things do, so it's uh, sort of relearning Minecraft in some ways. Well, I got me some blocks. I also got some junk that I definitely don't need. Lucerna planks. Ivis Phylium. Ooh, I got those because the Endermen were carrying that. That is actually handy. I wanted that. Nope. 
Cernia Bark, just out of curiosity. Okay. Yeah, that 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 sound that that looks about right. Actually, you can make all the stuff. That checks out. But this is what I want out of it. Ooh. Oh, it's probably for a um, composter. What is that down there? <sighs> All right, stealing myself for this. I wonder if I could spiral down one of these guys. Probably won't do that on the one that's right next to the edge. <laughs> but I think that might be a good play. Yeah, I'll go for that one over there. I haven't really practiced speed bridging, and even if I had, I don't think I'd want to do it right now. That seems like a good one to target for. I won't be enjoying the return trip later. Ah, shite. Oh, right, right, right. That's the uh, base. If I can get to that pillar, which I'm actually at the point now where if I fell, I wouldn't die. Is there water over here? Cause, oh yeah, there is. I think I'm just going to make another water elevator then rather than uh, spiraling down that. Because then that'll give me a way to build over there. And I can actually, I'm making a little platform, a central platform here. Because I'm going to want to check that out. If I can get my hands on an elytra, that would be nice. Just going to widen this up a little. And I already see... Plenty of wood that I can harvest on the other side here as well. Actually, you know what? I'll finish my elevator down. Then I'll work on my path over there. That way I can go get resources. I think that is probably the smarter, less impulsive way to go about this. Do you have any regular old blocks? I do. Oh, that's just gone. I'll encase it. Don't really need to do that as much where I'm uh, not directly <laughs> over the void. Uh, I guess I'm close enough. I'll have to remember to block that off down there so that I once again do not wash off into the void. That is a fate I would like to avoid. Oh, 
Oh, good. All right. Let's go spelunking. No, wait, that's that's not the right term. Even though it sounds like it should be a term referring to, like, jumping into water. But it doesn't actually mean that. Oh, I got some blocks. So I am going to block this off before it becomes my downfall. So that would suck. Perfect. So yeah, I was gonna build down there. I was gonna... I don't think I was going there yet. I'm just gonna take a little look around here, see if there's any, anything interesting, exciting, new. A lot of sulfuric rock on this one. A lot of yellow over this way. That's an... Is that a wild endermite? That's a wild endermite. I didn't even know they could... Uh... Oh, it's not following me anymore. Hey, buddy. I feel like it should be aggroing these guys by now. Maybe, maybe... What did he drop? Endermite powder. It's a charm. Uh, I'm not gonna... Cosmetic charm, maybe? Nope. Hmm. Doesn't really... Uh... Interesting. Oh, it's not slot charm. It's just charm. Maybe charm the plug-in. I get... I gave it to him. I don't know what it did. Are we friends now? I wonder if I can tame Enderman if I had enough of that. I'll look around a little more here before I go back over. I bet I'll be in for a fight when I go up there. Oh, hey, another one of these guys. I think I'll take out a few of them. Save up several of those and give them to the guy at the same time and see what happens. Hey, that's... Whoa! What? 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 What is this? I don't understand what's happening here. I apparently can't hurt this guy. He's gonna kill me. Oh, it's... it's <laughs> He's ascending. Nice. That gives me my exit. I don't know what that was. It was a cube that turned into me. I bet it can't turn into something fireproof, though. Do I want to go back and fight the cube? I kind of want to go back and fight the cube. I want to see if it drops anything. Or if it can be stopped with a splash of lava. Come get some, baby. Ah, be on fire. Ha ha ha. Ha. Are you, are you taking damage? Yes, you are. Mimic, mimic cube. Okay. So it's a mimic cube. Didn't drop anything. Don't know why I wasn't doing any damage on it. I mean, I know it's mimicking my armor and all, but my armor wasn't that good. Is that a gold block? Kind of looks like that might be... Nope, it's just end stone. Well, that was interesting. A mimic... <laughs> I want to see what this stuff is. Lumercorn. Excuse me. Lumicorn rod. Lumicorn seed. Any idea what this is? <laughs> I don't know what this could even be. I don't think it popped any recipes for me. Huh. 
This is definitely different. End moss. Umbrella moss. Uh, this is weird. I don't really know what to make of all this. There's another enchanted enderman. I'm not messing around with you. Some regular old enderman. At least I know I can still deal with the uh, mimic cube with lava, though. If I had tried to fight it out with that thing, that would have killed me. Because it was damaging me, and I was not damaging it. Don't like that. Ha <laughs> ha. Give me the goods. Give me that sweet, sweet under my powder. Oh, hey, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I wonder if that's enough to do something with an Enderman. Can I befriend them? I wonder if it's used for crafting and I'm just wasting it. Whoop, nope. Come here, buddy. It sounds like I'm throwing an Eye of Ender. Oh, yeah, it, it just... Oh, it is kind of an Eye of Ender. Okay. That is interesting. I shouldn't have wasted it like that. Oh, it's probably leading me to the end city. The end, the end, uh, yeah. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, I guess I'll find out how friendly these guys aren't. That's real pretty. I think I think it might be a neutral mob. Yeah, I bet if I had one more of those powders, it would lead me in that direction. Ooh. Oh! Yep. 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 <laughs> uh. Alright then I wasn't sure if I wanted to go in this way Because taking constant fire Can be rough on the resources But uh We'll see how far I can go Before I, before I cheese it pinpoint where that's coming from. Where are you? I know there's a couple more of these guys taking pot shots at me here. There's bulbous wood in it. Where is it coming from? Is it coming in from outside? Oh, you dick. What are you doing over there? Ah, crap. crap. I'm not... Ugh. Is these guys are a bit of a pain in the butt. Is that enough to get me up on here? Yeah, it is. Kind of want to take a hit from another one just to keep going. <laughs> I don't really need that, though. There, that way I don't completely die if I whiff the parkour here. Or I can uh, bypass a chunk of it. Just make sure I'm over. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> what is that? Is that a spawner? That might be a spawner in there. Yeah, that is. That is it. Those are shulker spawners. I might be in for a bit of a shit show here. Uh, what is going on here? Uh, this is chaos. Uh, 
All right. Ah, no, crap. I wanted to get under that. I wanted to... Holy shit, this is insane. This is so much worse than a regular one. I'm just climbing forever, I guess. Well, fall damage isn't a concern, so... Uh, it is kind of loud in here, though. What do I got left? Three minutes? Three seconds? I'm not gonna try to make a move while I got three seconds left. Alright, let's uh, see if I can get up up to where the treasure is. What is that? Get me in here! Yeah, get... Uh, <laughs> they're doing a good job of taking each other out for me. I think my thorns are still, uh... Or they're just shooting each other. Good God, this is definitely, uh... Trickier than the standard. Ooh, I wish I had Silk Touch right now. Having an Ender Chest would be nice. What do we got in it? Nothing. Well, I can toss that in there. I don't really need those right now, and I'll... Totem Avoid Undying! Beauty. Prod 3, Unbreaking 3, Fortune 2, Vein Mining, Efficiency 5, Mr. Jub. I'll take that. Blue Duck. <sighs> I have a lot of these guys. I'm going to put one of them in here. At least now, I can also, if I need to, put one of these in my hot bar and avoid dying that way. Alright, let's take these and see if anything's worth it. Fortune 2 and vein mining, I think, are going to be worth it. Uh, with the chest piece, that's prot 3 on breaking 3. I've got prot 4 thorns 2. And that's prot 3 as well, so I could make prot 3 and breaking 3. I can make prot 4 out of that. And then prot... I don't think this goes up to prot 5. Flavolite. I'll grab that. I'll grab that. I'll toss the music discs up in there. I'm gonna have to start working on number 2 here soon. I hear ya, I hear ya. see if I can make something out of that. Oh, yeah. I don't know what vein mining is, but we're gonna find out. Put my bow in my hot bar. I'm out of levels, so I can't really do any more uh, repair work or anything like that right now. That, that's gonna save my butt. I'll put you there for now until I need to mine something. <laughs> Until I need to mine something. Immediately needs to mine something. I could have put my gold in there too, really. Ah, someone's making popcorn. Toss my diamonds in there. Uh, what do I need and what don't I need here? Well, I don't need those iron leggings. I really don't need the flavolite. I can always get more. I know, I know I'm playing inventory management when I have... <laughs> I have other shulker boxes. And the means to make more shulker boxes. Ow! Oh, good on you! Look at you! Employee of the year! Who are you? Who do you think you are taking your pot shots at me? Yeah, I know where you are though. 
I know ish where you are. Actually, yeah, you're you're my ticket up. Uh, oh, that was close. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, when I need to mine something. It's a bit of a monster mash up in here. Let's see if I can neutralize these. Get some good EXP out of this too. Ah, shit. You wanna play, huh? Homie, wanna play? Let me down. Yeah, that uh, takes a little bit of the pressure off. That is not how I expected that to go. Open. Oh, <laughs> the bounce back. That's uh. I can get down there. I, I need to block though, because I want to take out that other spawner. This is nuts. This is this is why I don't go down to these. This is why I usually go around the outside. It's like, what am I gonna do? How am I how am I getting out of this? Drop. No, no, no. Let me get under it. Let me get under it. Yeah. Yes. Now it's just the. Uh, Relentless horde that's already out. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to pop around to where I am? I I will take you on. Seven, six, five. I'm gonna get this. Oh, that's a refresh. Let's go. Let's get high. Oh, of course there's one up there. Yeah, I am good to get myself tucked in here. You're... Hey, this is definitely more challenging than the standard end city. Good thing I got that diamond, uh, diamond shovel. Fine, fine. Open up, open up. Huh? Open up, dickhead. You think I won't deal with you guys? Drop down. I will neutralize all of these guys if I have to. Now the tricky part is let up. Oh, no, it's not that tricky because I was able to just do it. All right, let me get up in here. Nope, nope, nope. At least I'm picking up that sweet, sweet uh, spawnery XP. Oh. This is uh, this is quite the tense spot. Yeah, give me that, give me that, give me that. Stasis. It uh, allows sh slingshots projectiles to ignore gravity. I don't have a slingshot, so I uh, don't think I gotta care about stasis. 
I don't need that trap door. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna tag out for the lava bucket for now, just in case I get yeeted into oblivion. Iron sword. That's a decent iron sword. Efficiency, unbreaking, silk touch. I've been needing something for silk touch. Unbreaking three, vein mining. I've already mm, mostly got that. I don't have unbreaking on this guy. Can I afford it, though? That way? No, definitely not that way. So I can't afford it right now. And I think the one I'm sitting on has unbreaking anyway. One of the two of them that I'm sitting on does. Efficiency, unbreaking silk touch. So I'm just gonna leave that behind. There's library books up there too. Oop, oh, I took a hit. Oh, you're over there. Hello, buddy. I'll just come bump you off. The neighborly thing to do, you know? He teleported. I, I'm surprised they haven't been doing that sooner, actually. I don't need these uh, cool... Did he just die in front of me? That's just a ton of iron. I'll take it. That's, uh, Endermosh. I already have Endermosh. And I definitely don't need an iron shovel at the stage. Aqua Affinity, Fire Prot. An End Dragon Egg? So, um, I'll take the freebie. Fire Prot is of no use to me. Aqua Affinity. Do I have Aqua? I have Aqua Affinity, alright. Try to trim that down a little bit. It's still... <laughs> Look what's going on from outside. Get out of my way. Give me a solid, though. Stay alive so I can uh, use one of you to get up higher. Well, I'm definitely taking my freaking uh, anvil back. Yeah, so I need to get up in there next. It means I'm gonna have to either block up or uh, take a hit. This is so obstructive. Alright, yeah, come on. Give me a tap. Give me a tap. Yes. Open up, open up, it's the police. Whoop. <laughs> no, it's not, that was a lie. What is this? Purple pedestal. There's no more of these guys up in here, is there? There's another pedestal. Blue vine lantern, that's cool. That's cool, is this just coming up from below? Kind of looks like it might just be coming up from below now. Ooh. Okay, gives me lime shulker box. Black shulker box. Uh, excuse you. Alright, if I want to... If I want to have a moment with this room, I am going to have to be prepared to, to block up. There we go. Now they can't get their pot shots in on me. Another another totem of void. Alright. First off, though, I am gonna offload that junk. I'm gonna see if these shulker boxes 
have anything in them. They don't seem to. I'm keeping the orange one. I have so many shulker boxes, but uh, yeah, I'll keep I'll keep an orange one. I don't need this many shulker boxes. Never thought I'd be in a spot like this, Bane. Looting two. Ooh, I do want looting two. Curse of Binding Prod 3. Nope, not interested. Azure Berries. What happens when I eat those? Anything? Are they, they just a food? Oh, I was going to say, where'd my axe go? Ah, you can just put stuff on a pedestal. That's cool. I like, I like that they basically just guarantee you're getting out of here with a shulker box. Ah, ah, that's cool. I like, I like that. It's an alternative to a, um, to a frame, an item frame. Ooh, 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 I'm picking up a lot of music here. Well, let's use Orangey and start claiming these music discs. I will also pick the music discs out of this one. That way I'm a little more organized. It sounds like a war out there. That's a lot of music. This treasure is kind of ridiculous, though. It definitely sounds like there is a war going on outside. Sharpness 5 mending. I'll work on getting looting on that in a few minutes. Grasping and secret kilobyte. Unknown frontier. Galact I got two copies of kilobyte. That just won't do. Block, block, block. Yeah, I'll put kilobyte on the pedestal. No, I'll take those two. I probably won't eat stasis again. Slingshots. Don't have a slingshot. Don't care about slingshot and chance. Unbreaking three efficiency three. Do I does my regular one have unbreaking three? Efficiency four. Efficiency three. Mending fortune two. Efficiency five. Huh. I probably don't really need to put this much thought into a shovel. I am taking you, though. That's my music. That's stuff I don't need. Kilobyte, another copy. Unbreaking three sword. Sharp three. Sharpness, mending looting and breaking so I got three swords to try to put together here and maybe more swords in the uh, yeah, I don't need no I was gonna hang on to that sharp four knockback sharp five I don't really care about knockback all right so this is my main sword right now sharpness mending it could use looting. And then the only thing it's gaining from that is unbreaking, which where it has mending, I can wait to add unbreaking to the mix. That's all my EXP again, though. Don't need that, don't need that. Endermosh, I'm pretty sure... How did, how did something get through? One of them must have come in... Oh, yeah, one of them came in here. Alright, I'll deal with you. Goodness, this is, uh... They really want to kill me! Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, just pop on in here. Make it quiet for me, would ya? <laughs> I just tried to fight a shulker box. That's pretty. Hoo wee I'm picking lots of uh, Totem of Undyings up, though. Yeah. 
Andermash and Seeker. Ooh, look at you. Grasping at Star. I'm gonna grab these. How are you in? I, I mean, I know they teleport, but. Ah. They've decided to just actually start playing it smart and come in here. Where has he gone? The, uh... Had to kill him fast. Yeah, yeah, pop around. Come on, come on. Come on. Are you in here? I think you went outside. This loot is, uh, this... This loot is bonkers in this place, though. Grasping at stars, end seeker. Got both of those already. Endermosh. Endermosh I've already got. Probably taking that. And I think I'll take that. So right now we've got Prot 3 Aqua Affinity. Respiration 3 Prot 4 Unbreaking 3 is an exceptional upgrade. I'll hang on to the other one so I can put them together later. Get those effects all on mending, respiration, and breaking. Respiration, prot, unbreaking. So I really just need the mending. So I can ditch that. Sharpness 4, knockback 2. I think I unloaded intentionally. Where's it? Where's it? Hey, he landed on my shulker ball. There's two of them. Let me down. Let me down. Let me down so I can murder ya. It's gradually getting quieter out there as I uh, as I take care of these guys. Endermosh. Vein mining efficiency four. Vein mining efficiency five. Clearly better. <sighs> efficiency fortune three. Now that's. That's tempting. Yeah, I can take I can take Fortune Three. Sharpness, efficiency, efficiency four. So where this is already efficiency five. Uh, efficiency fortune, sharpness not back on breaking. Making it difficult here. I don't need the saddle. I'm gonna keep that egg though. I'm sure this mod probably lets you craft saddles somewhere. Oh goody, another one get in. <laughs> There's probably a spawner somewhere. Every time I'm trying to put myself together here, these guys just show up to make it confusing for me again. I'm breaking three, prot four, prot four. Oh, yeah, that would make potentially prot five. Ah, where, where's it coming from? Where's it coming from? Ah, up there, huh? Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, open up. Open up. Fine. Let's figure out what's going on here. Vein mining, I don't need that one. Prot 3, I'm breaking 3. I'm breaking 3, prot 4. Prot 3. Definitely taking prot 4 over that. I already have that, so I should just put this guy in there. I have so many shulker shells. This guy is full up. But I am... I'm doing pretty good in terms of having those. I'm going to toss that in there for now because I'm not digging anything. 
Rod 3, Unbreaking 3. Actually, I will take some of this stuff with me for later. Now that I've busted out one of these and can afford to be a little less stingy. Endermosh. Pretty sure I definitely already have Endermosh. Alright, so I'll start sorting that into... That's the chest of stuff I don't need to take back with me. Now that I'm being less stingy with space, though, I am going to keep the saddle. In case I want to ride a pig later. Still sounded pretty loud out there. I'm only doing this so I stop checking the same chests over and over again and keep being like, do I need this? So this is the stuff that I definitely do not need. Unbreaking three, curse of binding, a shulker box, and nine of them. Another one of those, Kilobyte, which I have, Stasis, and Prot 3 Pants. Yeah. And I definitely 100% have Kilobyte. Kilobyte binding and breaking that. that. Oh, goody. Alright. Get wrecked. Oh, there's another one. Ugh. Alright, so these pants are Unbreaking 3 Prot 4, these are Prot 3. Yeah, not, not particularly useful at the moment. I mean, I will need better pants when those ones eventually do break on me. But I think that's a while away. I haven't been taking hits in the pants. I have so many of these totems. All right, let's make sure I haven't missed anything before I uh, ender mosh. Before I get my butt out there and continue. Nope, that'll be the junk drawer. This game is making it hard. Just, just because there's so much good stuff, it's like, what do I take with me? If I found feather falling boots, I would finally be able to shed these ones. Yeah, I hear you out there. I'll put the axe up, I'll put the bow up. Alright. Now do I wanna... Enchanting power. Oh yeah, that's just uh... So how do I wanna approach this? I'm gonna check out what's up on the roof. This might be a mistake, but if it is, it's gonna be a funny mistake, probably. Oh, okay. That's. Whoop! <laughs> I should have kept track of my timer on that one. Oh. Time to ascend. Yeah, I know, I know there's guys still up there taking pot shots at me. What is, is that just, that might just be decorative actually. I don't I have not built up enough to make that make that crossing. Uh let's let's start move let's start heading over that way. I think I think I can hit that. I think I can hit that, yeah. Yeah Didn't even need to water bucket that. So that was interesting. I'm sure there's treasures I've missed in there, but that was I was getting a little hectic. So I think I am next up, though, gonna check out that ship. I'm gonna do that from my little middle platform that I've left for myself. Rather than get in there with everything that that brings to the table. 
I didn't need to take that damage. So yeah, that was quite the uh, end, end city. Next step. Well, I got some stairs. I got some blocks I can use. Yeah, there we go. I'll just start doing this. Let me. Okay, there we go. I was worried for a moment that I'd somehow manage to break something. There was a network error. Oh, wait, that's a different one. Never mind. Never mind. Oh. Okay, it came back. Sorry, that, that was Leo's stream that I'm talking about. His crashed on me for a moment. That is, by the way, who I'm definitely going to be raiding after this. I'm going to be raiding Level Up Leo. I love his streams. Okay, now, where will I be when they start shooting at me? Well, let's, uh... Let's figure it out. Yeah, I've got bulbous wood, so I will. <laughs> I will hang on to that as my final and burn through some of my other wood. What is that over there? It's like a star of some sort. This has been really interesting. Some things in this mod pack I would say are definitely better Minecraft. Some things not so much. Uh, major downsides were the seagull that stole my god apple and the end poem, not having the end poem music. That was disappointing. I love that music. A lot of other stuff pretty good though. In some cases things have been made more difficult but it seems like the loot has been improved to match because I have picked up some pretty good stuff while doing this. Ooh, yeah. So far, nobody taking pot shots at me yet. All right, yeah. Afraid I'm starting to get hungry too. Half hour away from my stream being done, rolling on over to uh, Level Up Leo's stream. Now I wonder if this will have the same layout as a regular end ship, just prettier. I don't see the dragon on the mast, which uh, is a bummer because I would love to have a dragon head. Oh! Did not like that sound. I heard the whoop. That was very close. I guess I gotta keep going now. What am I hearing? Oh, that's phantom. That's a phantom. That's a phantom. That's a phantom. Oh my god. Why are there phantoms? Well. <laughs> ah, that's clever. <laughs> that's a uh, sneaky but clever. Drop an anvil on me. Very acme. Open up. Cripes, get out of the way. Oh, there's definitely an elytra, and it's on the pedestal. Beautiful, that's what you love to see. He's got regen, so I gotta down- oh my god, stop. I gotta down him before he regens. 
Huh, this is being a little tricky. Good thing I have all these golden apples. Ah! Stop! Stop! Just let me down, let me down, let me down. I can't mind my way out of this one. Drop. Ow! Oh! I was so close! Wish I had a bucket of milk. I'm just playing tower defense here. Oof. My pinky finger hates me. Alright, you're gonna have to open up. Got him. <laughs> he shot himself. What a dummy. He's got regeneration too. Why do you guys all regenerate? And that's uh Ooh, that's an ender chest. <laughs> oh. I am taking a long time to eat that. Instant health. Nice, nice. Uh there's some other health. Instant health. Instant health. Very nice. Ha ha! Now, if only I had the means to make fireworks. It is taking a long time to eat suddenly. Bane, I'm not taking this. I will. I'm not gonna fall in the void that many times. What am I doing? I was finding some good shit here, though. Holy crap. The loot table in this. Stasis. They really want me to have stasis. Well, let's bust out the shulker boxes. And start filling up on loot. Alright, I'm going to start... Uh, Organizing these a little bit better. Obviously, the music disc music discs go in here. That's Galactic Wave. Black discs, purple discs, yellow discs. So I have Galactic Wave. This is gonna be my dump chest. I have so many of those. I'm gonna grab all the swords out of this one. And put it into this one with the other swords. All the armor out of that one. And put it in this guy with the other armor. I'll take my totems out of this one. And put them in the swords box. Since it's already got a totem. <laughs> ah, it would take a lot for me to die. I'll take all my spoons and put my spoons here. Uh, my chests can all go here like that. My feet, my legs, my head piece. I will put the pickaxes together. That's just for music discs over there. Which... We have many music discs. Alright. So, Grasping at Stars. I've already got Strange and Alien. I don't have Grasping at Stars, Strange and Alien. This is very generous with the music discs. Those are gonna be those are gonna be fun to listen to later. I might do a stream where I just listen to music discs on here. Because it's throwing enough of these at me that it's like I could I could. Oh, I can wear it! <laughs> Knockback resistance. Oh, that's actually kind of handy. Alright. So we've cleaned that out. A Endermosh. I definitely have Endermosh. There's Unbreaking 3. A lot of this is going to be junk going into the junk chest. But this way I'm getting more organized about it. Unbreaking three. So my pickaxes. Oops, somebody wants a fight. 
Uh, that's that's behaving oddly. That's what you get. That's what you get. Still taking your pot shots. That's all right. You want to come? I can wait. I can wait. I can wait. I can wait. <laughs> That's what you get. All right, let's resume. This is Endermosh. I 100% have Endermosh. Pickaxe. So we've got efficiency five, efficiency four, fortune, unbreaking three. Unbreaking three is accounted for. Yeah. So that can go in here. That's emptied. That's emptied. That's emptied. <laughs> I am claiming that. I don't have the silk touch to pick it up right now. So you're coming home with me until I can get myself some silk touch to make better use of you. I'm going to help myself to the potions. It's taking me longer to eat lately. All right. Oh, they stack! That's actually big! Right, right, potion stack. Well, I'll put the potions here for right now. That's a bit better, eh? I wonder where I put my actual dragon egg originally when I beat the dragon. Hm. All right, all right. This is uh, this is not bad at all. A purple pes pedestal. I like those lanterns though. So I wonder what else is on this ship for me to explore. And I got the back slot. Cosmetic, cosmetic, backpack, back. <gasps> oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh yes that is good can I still wear it as a chest I can still wear it as a chest so much better though oh that is good that's big <laughs> I'm, I'm real happy with that as you can probably tell Seem to have lost my uh, mind. Oh, well, my bearing, really. Oh, no, it's this way. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab that because I seem to have misplaced my. Uh... I'll take one of you with, too, because that looks cool. Right. Seem to have misplaced my anvil. Put you here. Got my anvil with me. Put the gold. Wow, we are now into more gold territory. Let's make yet another crafting table for me to forget about. <laughs> nope, that's not quite what I meant. Let's make a bunch of blocks of gold and a bunch of blocks of iron. Probably not making too much use of uh, golems at this stage of the game. I'll hang on to it for now. I don't need stasis. Why do I have stasis? I'll save myself a little bit of material later. Find or craft a villager workstation. The city at the end. Yeah, of course, I got that remote getaway. These are all normal. All right. I think I'm good to uh, pick my goods up. One empty, three partially filled. Yeah, I think I can work with this. Now the fun part is going to be dealing with these phantoms that I know are still out there. 
Not to mention that dickhead. Don't know how that worked. That was weird. All right, phantoms. Where you at? Oh, that's, that's just meant to be a ship's wheel, huh? Yeah, come come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Oh, you got rented regeneration. That's not even fair. Why are my arrows so shit? Oh, now I'm out of arrows. Well, I'll retire you in favor of you then. It might just be a decorative version. They, I don't like that they have regeneration. And there's no dragon head either. I don't like that. I want my dragon head. Huh, spare. Oh yeah, they get some anvils laying around. I wonder if I can t Oh, okay. Well, that's mine. That's mine. That that won't end terribly. This is probably just meant to be decoration as a ship's wheel. Head to poke and prod it a bit to make sure. Where are those phantoms coming from, though? I want to resolve that situation. If there's a spawner up there, if they just naturally spawn in the area, I don't know. Are you serious? Freaking die. Oh! That was a... That was a distance shot that he made there. Seems there's anything inside this balloon. Hey, right. that, uh, that gets me a little closer. That's annoying. This balloon might be decorative. Realizing I could staircase mine this. It's also taking a moment for these to disappear when I mine them. What is with that? I wonder if my computer's struggling a little bit. I mean, I'm in kind of a nuts area, so that could be what's happening. <laughs> this is annoying, though. I don't like... I don't like that it takes that long. Why is it breaking like that? Broke you. Well, they are definitely up here. Is they spawner up here? Or are they just hanging around? Oh boy. Don't you take a bite out of me. Oh, shit are you able to that's a little bit uh, that's a little bit cheaty 
That's too many. That's too many. Oh, they spawn over here, too. Of course they do. Of course they do. That's their spawner, okay? All right, I think I got a... I think I got a working plan here. Oh, right, I have... That's right, I have a... Uh, I have the thing. So if I die, I'll just... If I get knocked off, I'm just double-tapping space. I really need you to break right away. Fuck off, phantoms. Yo. Can we please with the... Oh! Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright, now I can potentially start taking these guys out, right? How are you taking hits like this? Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. I don't have to deal with this shit. Phantoms can get bent. Oh, that is cool, though. That star thing. I might build over to a poised place. What does that mean? Find a poised forest. Okay. Poised stem, glowing poised stem. <laughs> Eat. Oh no, it's, it's lagging right now. Well, we're getting near the end of the stream anyway, so I'm just gonna wait this out. What am I hearing? And rubble. Emus. Love me some elytra. I'm hearing weird noises. Aside from the noises these guys make, I mean. I'd like to know what that is all about. <laughs> is that one a better one to go for? Is that just is that just decorative or is that something? And what is that sound? Is that just the trees? It better be the trees and not something about to take pot shots at me. What am I doing? That should be a little better. Boop. It's a wee bit safer to be doing this now that I got the elytra. Alright. So what are you? Important question. Don't need the fence. Don't need that. Do need this though. I need to be able to get down. Emerald ice. So yeah, it's got ice physics. Oh boy, <laughs> ice physics in the uh, dense emerald ice. Is this just a big old icy thing? That might be all this is. I was kind of wondering if it might have something inside it. Is this dense snow? Hmm. Might just be a big old ice thing. Interesting. Yeah, I don't like this uh, breaking lag. Oh, gave me some new recipes, though. I'll grab a few of them. Oh, 
up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It uh, regular ice makes water. That uh, that makes that makes sense. Cause it uh, it does that with the uh, regular Minecraft ice. All right, I might need nine of it. Be great if this behaved. Seven. Don't know why it's being so iffy this uh, this late into it. Eight, nine, perfect. So I've got the emerald ice. I'm gonna see if that lets me uh, make blue emerald ice. I guess. What is that? What is that? Ancient emerald ice. Okay. I mean, it wasn't any older than it was before I stuck it together, but sure. Hello? Are you a fighty guy or are you just a cool guy? Blue fluck. Okay. Yeah, if you don't want to fight, I don't want to fight. I'm cool with that. Meet some of the uh, wildlife here. Tall poise bush. That's probably going to be my best route back is uh, across to that. What the shit is this? What the shit is this? Yo, can you get in range so I can see what you are? Oh, it's still Buffalo. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, it's nice to meet you. They did. They just fly around sometimes. That's actually neat. Let's grab a bit of this. Glowing poise makes poise planks. Poise makes poise planks. So she all makes poised planks, it's just some of it glows. Okay. I, I can dig it. Ah. I'm getting pretty near the end of the stream here. I think I feel like this is a good spot to call it actually. Before I do, I want to figure out exactly where I can plant these guys. Can't, I can't plant them on that. I can't plant them on that. I guess I need maybe the specific stuff. Oh, I can plant them there. Nice. Very nice. Alright. I'm going to end the stream here for tonight. I'm going to raid Level Up Leo. I'm going to host Level Up Leo. Uh, again, I love Level Up Leo's content, so be prepared for that. He's playing Donkey Kong Country. Next up, Monday, will be again the... Uh, it's either Manhunt Monday or more Minecraft, but better, unless I find something else to play, because I'm doing a lot of consecutive, but better. So let me just uh, double check real quick on the current status of Manhunt Monday. Yes, yeah, because I had somebody who is able to participate. Oh, actually, yeah, we will be as it is right now. I do have a hunter lined up. So we can, in fact, do Manhunt Monday on Monday. We'll see how that plays out. Let's go ahead, though, and raid level up Leo. Give me a moment. And I will see you folks again next week. Do I need to hold the direction? Up, Leo. Boop. This channel is intended for mature audiences. 
This guy's he cusses sometimes. It's not actually, uh, the, like, not anything actually sketchy. All right. Let's-a go.